time for improving is over. The time for proving has arrived. Because the future hangs by a thread. The Rangers and the Rays are ready. 162 games have prepared them for this moment. The Rangers will play in October. A moment with no before, only an after. Filled with promise or regret. That moment is here. Now. Welcome, everyone, to St. Petersburg, Florida, where Major League Baseball postseason is about to get underway inside Tropicana Field in the first of four games today. The Tampa Bay Rays play host to the Texas Rangers. It, all of them pulled. And he pulls that one down the left field line and a diving catch made by Evan Carter. It's like the ball is rising. He's like, I'm looking for the top half. Rudder goes from first. He'll have to get back fast. Margot the catch. That should be deep enough to score the run. Tavares did get back to first and across the plate with the first run of this postseason. Nathaniel Lowe on an arc. And he looked great in their workout yesterday. They put him on the roster today. He bunks again and pops it up. Montgomery, wow. a diving catch. Yeah. What a play. <laughs> Because if that lands, that's a big problem for the Texas Rangers. That's a hit. And this, and this is a backhand dive. I mean, you think about him being able to get off the mound, backhand, and get to this. Amazing play. Probably could have let it go and would have gone the foul anyway, but... That's the situation again. The runner goes from first, and Pinto swings and misses. What a job by Montgomery, the terrific catch on the popped up punt. Madness around baseball lately. That's off the glove of Pinto to the backstop and a run scores. Seeger, 32 year old veteran right hander. Treated by a line drive, sinking fast. That'll fall in front of Siri. And it's off his glove and up into the air. Around the score, Carter, and now the throw goes into the dugout. Fans boo. They do not recognize this team in the white uniforms here today. Simeon. Line drive caught by Young. Going to his left. Holding low at first. Hit, but that should end the ball game. Tavares the catch, and game one of this wild card series goes to the Texas Rangers. Kevin, they are filing into Target Field for game one of this wild card series between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Minnesota Twins. Does not go. And that one is drilled deep to left field. Going back, Varsho. Turning, looking. See ya. A two run home run for Lewis. And just like that, the Twins are up 2 0. Ball, mid 90s, beats him to the spot. Alligator arms, nice and tight. Let's go down to Alden. He's during the regular season. Fly ball, left center, and that is going to be caught by a diving Taylor. An outstanding center fielder, and he flashes the leather there for out number two. Kirby Puckett, Torrey Hunter, and now Michael Taylor. Another Gold Glove winner with a superb jump. Cat Jr. pulled off the line at first. 
High fly ball, right field and deep. Springer back, turning, looking. See ya! He's done it again! Back-to-back home runs for Lewis, and it's 3-0 Twins. For a reason, this time a fastball stays inside of it and hits it a long. Chop toward third. Polanco charges and it goes under his glove. And here comes Bichette. Here's the throw. Here's the play. He's out. Oh, a great recovery by Carlos Correa firing home to get Bichette trying to score. Line drive, it's a base hit to left field. Bichette rounds third, he will score. Kirk stops at second. It's an opposite field RBI single for Kiermaier. And the Blue Jays are on the board, it's 3-1 Twins. Chapman lost one deep to right center. Going back, Taylor on the track at the wall. He makes the catch. He made the catch. He saved two runs and took an extra base hit away from Chapman. Here in the eighth, he will deal to Vlad Guerrero, who lines one into right center field. It's a base hit, and that's going to get past Kepler and go to the wall. And Guerrero hustling into second with a leadoff double here in the eighth. And Michael, big axe for Jack to eight. 3 1 Minnesota. Swing and a miss. He struck him out on a breaking ball. Strike three. Got him looking. Backdoor sweeper. Two away. Farmer is taking over at third. Polanco has moved to second. Kirk grounds one to first. Solano is there. He'll take it himself. And they pitch around the leadoff double. And Guerrero is stranded at second. This one moves to the bottom of the eighth. It's a nail biter in Minnesota. 3 1 Twins. One away. Three curveballs. Kiermaier down on strikes. And the one two. He goes around. Two away. One out to go. There he goes. And there's a ground ball. Diving stop by Solano. And he flips to Duran. They win. 18 is enough. The Twins get a postseason win. And they lead the wild card series one game to nothing. Welcome inside American Family Field. It is NL Wild Card Series Game 1. The Diamondbacks and the Brewers, after a year absence from the playoffs, the Brewers are back in, and they are pumped up in Milwaukee. And hit on the ground, and through the right side. Base hit, Yelich in. Contreras stops at second. It's an RBI single for Santana, 1-0 Milwaukee. Went down, we told you it'd be an important piece, and now you're starting game one. Because Kenna has gone on strikes and fought. Gets a big out, the first. He'll jump on the wall, into the wall, whatever it takes. Here's the 2 And a swing and a miss, and fought with back-to-back -back strikeouts. And now there are two away. Let's see what he goes with here. He got him to swing and miss at the sweeper, and Adamas is gone. Three straight strikeouts. Saw Phillies Reds game, and then when he pitched in the Cape. That's drilled left field. That's way back on his way and gone. Tyrone Taylor. It's a two run homer, and the Brewers have a 3 0 lead. Well, Taylor just stayed back on this pitch. 
And, you know, he's in that lineup because he has that power. It's something that's kind of developed later in his career. And, and he did so in a couple of ways. That's drilled right field. Well struck. That one way back. That one's on its way and gone. Corbin Carroll with a two-run homer, and the Diamondbacks are within one as the leadoff man goes deep. That was a blast. Well, you talk about adjustments and what a sign of maturity within making that adjustment inside of an at-bat. He's like, okay. So Burns says, all right, let me try to throw the changeup. And he's sitting on it and able to take it way out. And that, that is a hard thing to do against Corbin Burns, where opponents have hit 132 off of that changeup. This one drilled right field. That's back. That's got a chance. That's gone. Marte goes deep. Back-to-back -back homers for the Diamondbacks. And just like that, it's 3-3. I mean, quick strike. And we mentioned earlier, home runs are king. But home runs are not prototypical of these two teams. It's not their style. But handed, he's an extremely dangerous hitter. And look at the head position, just right on that ball. And he quickly whipped through the zone and knew it. It's all hands. And a souvenir. So Burns, who had looked sharp through the first two. Right hand hitter climbs back in. Burns ready. Swing and a high fly ball. Well struck out towards left center field. That one on its way and gone. Over the bullpen. Moreno, a solo homer. And the Diamondbacks have the lead. It's 4-3. I mean, you talk about switching gears here. The D-backs are just on the assault here on any pitch that's not competitive. He's, he's hanging these pitches right now, and Corbin Burns is. And Moreno just stays back. Look at this. I mean, the ball just didn't do anything. He got it up in the zone. It flattened out, and his head position is impeccable. It gets under that ball with some serious launch angle. That. Swing and a line drive. Base hit right field. Freelich stops at second, and there are two aboard. John later, the Brewers signed him, then sent him to AAA. Swing and a line drive, base hit center field. And Donaldson with his second hit of the night, and they're loaded. Terang swings and misses, struck him out, and a huge strikeout for Ryan Nelson. Put it up. Brewers down a run. Line drive. Oh, what a catch! Longoria to second. It's a double play. Oh, my goodness. Evan Longoria saves the day with a lunging grab, and they turn it into two outs. He and almost got a dumbest. Here's a ground ball to third. Longoria, Marte, Walker, 5-4-3. And that in an 0-2 hole, the pitch. And he struck him out. Ginkle blew him away. Right-hander ready and fires. And a swing and a miss struck him out. Ginkle gets Taylor. There's two away. It's two outs. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Ginkle is pumped up as he strikes out the side. We're going to the ninth here at American Family Field. Out ready. Williams fires. That's drilled to center. Freelick going back. Turning and looking. It's off the top of the wall. In to score is Carroll. Fam on his heels. Walker into second. And the Diamondbacks add two. And it is now 6-3 Arizona. It just missed getting out of here. I mean, that, how... I'm not sure why he's going back to third, but we'll come back to that. But ball goes off the top of the wall. I mean, for the Brewers ace. The one, two. In the air, out towards left center and shallow. Guriel has it, and that's the ball game. And the Diamondbacks have taken game one here in Milwaukee. 6-3 the final. What a job by the Arizona bullpen. 
Well, even loud as we welcome you back to Red October here in Philadelphia. Just about set for the first pitch between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. 3 and 0 to Bell. Swinging in that one. Gloved by Stark. Bouncer, and he gets it to Harper in time. A 10 pitch inning for Zach Wheeler. Two good upwards of 97, 98. We've seen 99. That one is fair down the line. Bohm's going to drive in a run. Here comes Rojas. He heads to second. One nothing Philadelphia. Castellanos is coming home. Here's the throw. <laughs> Chisholm throws him out at the plate. Jazz, it's 2-0 Philadelphia. Jazz threw that like a middle infielder. Not like playing the outfield when it started. Up the middle and through. RBI for Pache. A big hit for somebody who hasn't had many. 3-0 Phillies of Wheeler. On the ground, Boehm has it from his knees. Safe! What an effort by Boehm, but great hustle by De La Cruz. The Marlins are on the board. It's 3-1. Only one had reached base. The one-two. Got him swinging, Real Muto. Pumps his fist, and so does Alvarado. And the Marlins will strand two. Castellanos hooks that one. It's going to get down and go to the wall. Harper, he's being held. He runs through that sign, and he's safe. And Castellanos into third. Boy, Wathen put his hands up, and Harper said... Yellow light, I'm going through it, and he scores the fourth run for Philadelphia. The helmet bouncing behind Bryce Harper, because he knocked it off. That's an, it's an extra couple of uh, ounces on his head, man. I could run a little quicker without that. It's amazing, because he made that decision around shortstop. Right when he knocked that helmet off, he's like, it's go time. 3-2 in the hole. Boehm is over there. He will flip to first. And the Phillies will win game one, 4-1. to one. That's Target Field. The fans are filing in for game two of this wild card series. It'll be the Minnesota Twins against the Toronto Blue Jays. Game two coming up now. Ground ball is short. There's one. And he just jogs the first, which they told him to do. And there is two. No runs to hit, no errors. And because of the DP, nobody left on base. We'll go to the second. Nothing, nothing. It's sharply up the middle, it's a base hit. Lewis scores, Kepler will stop at third. Correa with an RBI single, and the Twins are on the board. It's one nothing. Cutter here, Michael, stays inside the baseball, doesn't try to do too much. He is relieved that Bur Burials is in the dugout and not on that mound. Just past the lunging try of Bichette. And boy, is he pumped up. This crowd is pumped up. Still nobody out. Base is loaded. There's a ground ball, a short. There's one. And there's two. But another run scores as Kepler crosses the plate. No ribby for Castro. And the Twins lead 2 0. Oh, do they have pick off? Him. Oh, they got him. Oh, what a mistake by Vlad Guerrero. He's signaling to the dugout. He thinks he got in. Oh, did they bail out Sonny Gray? 
you have to review it. You have two tries, and it's too big of a play. I think he's out. Oh, boy. I think he's out. That's the, that's the telling replay. Alex, before this is confirmed or not, how do you go back to the dugout? You don't. I mean, if you get picked off there. Oh, boy. Top of the sixth. This could be two. There's one. There's two. It's a double play. Chapman runs into a 6-4-3 double play as Theobar gets it done. And the Blue Jays' struggles with runners in scoring position continue. 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss. He's struck out now. A filthy splitter. That one is looped in the center field. It's a base hit. So the Blue Jays are alive. That's their ninth hit of the game. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Three straight unhittable curveballs. And the Twins are out of way. Swing and a miss. Finally, 21 years in the making. And the Twins advance with a victory in two straight over Toronto. And they will meet the Houston Astros in the ALDS. Tampa Bay area where the Rays need to win today or they could be boating as early as tomorrow. And they hope for more fan support today inside Tropicana Field. Yesterday, the smallest crowd for a postseason Major League Baseball game since 1919. Fewer Watch how he attacks them. The hard and a great stop by Diaz. He caught it in the air. And it's a double play. He had a rough day at first yesterday, and Kevin Cash said it's largely because he's been bothered by a hamstring injury that kept him out of the lineup for a while late in the season. Ordinarily a much better first baseman than we saw yesterday. They're both starting today in these huge playoff games. There's a long fly ball to left, way back, and gone. First home run of this series for either team. Adolis Garcia with a bomb way back into the left field seats. And the Rangers lead one to nothing, 416 feet. Well, this team really took off offensively when Young and Garcia came off the injury. Absolutely annihilated. This is a cutter that we've seen be up and away to these right-handed batters. This one misses low. That's that nitro zone for Adelise Garcia. In fact, he gets around this thing and pulls it that far. We had 39 in the regular season, second in the American League behind yesterday at 14 in the regular season. 3-2 pitch, a little pop-up, long run for low. He can run hard, and he doesn't get it. And a run will score. Tavares has scored. On his way to third is Young, and he is safe. As the ball gets away from Paredes, and he was probably safe even if Isak was able to handle it. The low, if the runner was at first base instead of second, if he doesn't even try to die for that. There's a drive to right off the bat of Evan Carter, and what a postseason he is having. A 21-year-old rookie with a two-run homer. And it is four to nothing, Texas. Twenty-one years old. He's batted six times in this series. He's reached for this. Well, and he's sitting cutter. I mean, at this point, you kind of get an understanding. Left-handed batters, where he's going to go. We saw the patience in the last at bat. He ended up walking. That fastball coming in the lefties. He was more on the plate. Now he's backed away. He hits a high chopper. It's going to bring in another run. The only play for Eflin is at first. Seeger in to make it five to nothing Rangers. On off is do it for you as it happens in some teams. There's a shot toward the gap in left center. That's going to bring home another run. Simeon's first hit of this series is a double. 
And Texas leads six to nothing. And there's a drive to right field. That will one hop the wall. Seager's on his way to second as Simeon crosses the plate. It's another double for Seager. His second of the ball game, third of the series, after an American League leading 42 two base hits in the regular season. And the greatest at first. Now the 2 2 pitch. Line drive to left and a base hit. They're going to send the runner low. The throw to the plate, not in time. And they narrowly avoid the longest scoreless streak in postseason history. Here for the T ball that he's ready to celebrate with his team. Oh, strike three. Fastball at the knees, a borderline pitch. Goes the Rangers' way, and they go on to the second round to take on Baltimore in the NLDS starting on Saturday. They win a playoff round for the first time in 12 years. And a total team effort that sends the Tampa Bay Rays home for the season. After well, here in Milwaukee, fans on their feet trying to urge their team on to a win. It's the National League Wild Card Series from American Family Field. The Diamondbacks and the Brewers. It is game two, Arizona, with Brandon Woodruff being ruled out. With a big glove. Swing and a high fly ball right field. Carroll drifting back, wandering onto the track. And he makes the catch. Yelich will tag. Yelich will score. Santana moves up. It's a sack fly for Sal Freelick. And the Brewers jump on top, 1-0. Struggled against four seam fastballs this season. And a line drive into center field. That's a base hit. Santana coming in to score. Canna racing for third. And Adamas, an RBI single. The Brewers lead it two to nothing. Bottom of the third. Two on, one out. And that one is knocked down by Gallon. Throw to second for one. On to first. And it's a double play. Oh, what a play, dude. One out, base is empty. Peralta. Oh, Donaldson to his left. Spins and throws, and he steals a hit from Lourdes Goriel Jr. Well, these are two of the top defensive teams in all of baseball. Josh Donaldson, a late add to this team, but a great play. And we're seeing two third basemen between Longoria and Donaldson who are on the senior circuit here in terms of their time in the game. And they're not slowing down defensively. Good instinct. He dove and stopped. It ended up being an infield hit. This one hit in the air right field. This one back. And Taylor isn't able to get it. And that one is gone. Just got over the fence. And Alec Thomas... Pulls one over the wall, the first hit of the game for the Diamondbacks, and it leaves the park in Arizona within one. So what did that Goriel at bat mean? Maybe something to say, all right, he made him work, and now he gets this change up right down the heart, just not where he wanted to locate it, and Thomas jumps on it. You know, good swing through the zone, a little out in front even, but showing the power. Where... Two and two, Perdomo at first. And that one gets past Santana, broken bat roller down the line. Taylor over to get it. They'll stop Perdomo at third, Carroll into second. He broke his bat and comes up with a double that got past Santana. And the he chose the chase and Marte laid off it. Three, two. Up the middle, base hit. Perdomo is in. Carroll coming home. Freelix throw is too late. Into second goes Marte. And the Diamondbacks have taken the lead. It is 3-2 Arizona. And that wild pitch gets past Contreras. Runner coming home. Tag. Save. Fam is in to score. And Arebe for three times. In the air, out towards shallow left field, and it'll fall for a hit. In to score is Walker, stopping at third is Herrera. It's an RBI single, and it is 5-2 Diamondbacks.
Uh, Gore cleared, he can come back, and that means he could join them mid-series uh, mid if he's cleared. Good bunt by Yelich, and he's aboard. And he puts down a bunt single against the new pitcher. Good way to operate. Two and two. Canna lines one to right. Coming on Carroll. Can't get it. It'll fall for a hit. Yelich stops at third, and they're loaded up. Loaded one out. Brewers down three. Ground ball back to the mound. Flip to the plate for one, and that's all they get. But Salfrank heads up, and they Five. force out. Yep. From scoring. And now Willie Adamas. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. Glove by Marte. There he steps on the bag. And Andrew Salfrank in his postseason debut gets out of the jam and it stays a three-run Diamondback lead. Head matchup. The Diamondbacks bullpen has been sensational. There's a liner. Off the glove of the shortstop Perdomo. Throw to second and they get the out there. Wow. Perdomo lunging, couldn't come up with it. Marte and two. Here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that's it. The Arizona Diamondbacks advance to the division series as they knock off the Brewers. Paul Seawall closes it out, and the Diamondbacks come into Milwaukee and win two straight. And who is ready for a Wednesday night party, baseball style, game two, best of three, National League wild card series, the Philadelphia Phillies and the Miami Marlins. This time everything's down. Ripped, fair ball. It hugs the wall. Now Sanchez has to chase it. Flying around is Pache from first. Schwarber breaks on. His double makes it one nothing Philadelphia. the middle that one goes off of Garrett into right field here comes Schwarber it's 2-0 Philadelphia and RBI for Turner that ball is drilled and forget it a bat dropped by Real Muto 3-0 Philadelphia a no doubt about it shot. Double and a homer tonight for JT. And the Philly fans get to celebrate their first home run of the postseason, and it comes with JT Real, JT Real Muto. He sees the pitch, a little cutter. Sees it the entire way, and it's exactly what he was telling Christian Pache in the dugout. As soon as he hit it, he knew it. He uses the index finger to point at his team, puts another run on the board. Came in there with Sanchez and Chisholm. Castellanos on the ground, a third burger has it go off of his arm and does not throw it. An error on Jake Berger to load the bases. He got flat footed. Castellanos the base runners, infielders in at the corners and Stott drives one to right. That's deep, that is gone! A grand slam for Stott. Just broke, thanks to Bryson Stott's base clearing granny. The kid that last year struggled to hit the fastball. Went into the... Is right here, he's looking for it right down the middle, man. Try to throw a little bit middle away, instead it's middle in. And Bryson Stott had nightmares about what he witnessed in Houston last year. Fastball after fastball, he said, nah. -uh. He'll do it again. And a liner that's past Turner, and the shutout is over. And the Marlins get on the board here with two outs in the ninth. Bell delivers. I'll tell you what, he showed up. He grabbed. And step one of that process has been completed.
the Phillies 7-1 win the wild card over the Marlins and now get to face the Braves. Bradish back home with an 0-2 and a breaking ball. Starts his day with a strikeout. His 1-2 to Garcia is coming on a miss. That's the inning. For a while, has added the offense to it this year. There's that high fastball. The strikeout one away. It's on. The 1-2 comes home. He got him. Stuck with a fastball. And he's got his fourth K already. That's why. 0-2. Strikes out the side. Two two to Grossman oh. inside corner to get him, and the sixth strikeout for Kyle Bradish. Well, you talked about the pitching staff here. It is Evan Carter. He hooks one down the line. That's a base hit for Carter, and the 21-year-old's in the middle of it again. On his way to second with a double, Garcia's in to score, and the Rangers are on the board first. Evan Carter, who just turned 21 a little more than a month ago, prior to that week before the call-up. And now it's time with a base hit to left center. Carter's given the wave. Mullins' throw goes into second, and it's 2 to nothing, Texas. Three consecutive hits here in the fourth. Tom Castle grounded out his first time. Bangs a base hit down the line. That'll scoop by Carter all the way to the wall. Santander busted around third. He heads for the plate. He'll score. And the Orioles have broken through. Ryan Mountcastle with an RBI double. And it's 2-1. to one. When you play a lot of close games. Mm -hmm. Long when you have Young hitting eight. Flies it to center field. Mullins is going back on the track at the wall. It's gone. And the rookie out of the eighth spot goes deep to center field. Rangers up 3-1. And then play the way they played in St. Pete and the way they're playing so far today. It's remarkable. It is remarkable and resilient because that's the only words you can can come up with because the bullpen it totally changes as you're touching on the field down there. Santander hammers the ball. Goodbye. After 28 during the regular season, Santander hits his first of the postseason, and it's a 3-2 game. Well, that's just great extension and locked in on that pitch. And another guy that can get locked in against right-handers is Gunnar Henderson. Lifts a fly ball to the left field corner. Hayes on the move. Austin Hayes with a diving, tumbling catch. A one pitch. Chopper left side. Young picks it, goes to second one, and turns a double play. Wow. Josh Young, who grew up idolizing Brooks Robinson, just looked a little bit like the legend over there at third. That's off third. Chapman to the plate. Mountcastle swings and misses at the high fastball. And Aronis Chapman, who's been here before, finds his way out of the jam with some help from his defense. Rangers stay in front three to two. Keep the Rangers in front. In the right field, that's a leadoff base hit. Henderson's first hit of the postseason, leading run at the plate. There goes Henderson. Throw from Heim. 
He got him! Jonah Heim throws out Gunnar Henderson. Career high, 13 home runs this season for him. Here's a cue shot to third. Young, who's been the man today, ends game one. Texas three, Baltimore two. And this much maligned Rangers bullpen finds a way to get it to the finish line. They didn't make it easy, but they got it done. And wow. I mean, this is what this buckle up, because this is what this series is going to be like. We've got two really hot starters going tomorrow. The familiar ruckus crowd at Minute Maid Park in Houston where the reigning World Series champions get set to defend their title. The champions of the American League West, Houston Astros, were off with the AL Central champion, Minnesota Twins. Gray, their aces, got them through the wild card series. Ober deals to Altuve, who launches the first pitch deep to left field. A familiar sight, one nothing to the Crawford Boxes. going to get ahead. I'm going to throw a fastball up. You don't want to throw it in, though. He threw it in. Altuve says, I don't care, Wayne. I've never seen him. Uh, three, four. Well, here we are in the third, and Maeda's up. Ready? Getting ready. That's Alvarez over. launches, and Jordan Alvarez's postseason success continues. Three, nothing Astros. See the grip? It's up right down the middle. And Alvarez knew it as soon as it's the wheelhouse of Jordan Alvarez, a powerful swing. Hander up, shortstop's played up the middle almost every time with a left hander up. In the air, deep left field. Playable for Walner towards the corner. That is down. It is going to score a run. Bregman is in. Alvarez stops at second, and Jose Abreu makes it 4 nothing Houston. Behind Maeda. In the left field. That will get down for a base hit. Coming home is Alvarez. The throw from Walner. That gets cut off. Now they've got a man in Abreu caught, but he holds off just enough to make sure the run scores, which it does. Alvarez is home. Abreu is out. Inning is over. Area. That's tough for Walner. Polanco Ooh. lifts one deep to right field, and he just changed the complexion of this game with one very important swing to the upper deck in Houston. It's 5-3 to three when they need it at most. One of their longest tenured twins comes up clutch. Polanco's a hard guy to game plan. He does so many different things. Lewis lifts one now. Back to back go the Twins, and we've got a one-run game here in game one. His third postseason home run. And the Twins shocking the Houston bullpen in the seventh. We still got this. You know, I've felt that both sides. Alvarez with a response. His second of the game off the pole. Alvarez said he got that. <laughs> yep. Affected by left-handed pitching. That's a curveball, doesn't do much. Alvarez clips it so far out front. It's the Chick-fil-A foul pole down the right field line.
Left. 2-2. Two -two. He struck him out to finish off game one. It went from blowout to nail biter to a game one. Houston win their 10th consecutive three. The 2023 National League Division Series presented by Booking.com. It's the Phillies and the Atlanta Braves. Game one of this best of five series. Who have delivered in the postseason the reigning National League champions from a year ago and a ground ball. Got a chance for two. Got to go quick. Albies to Arcia. Throw the first in time. Strider gets a double play ball to get out of the inning. Phillies a runner at second. The 0-2 to Stott. And a line drive to left down. Harper got a great jump with two outs. Pilar's throw to the plate. Comes in on a hop. Safe. Harper scores. Bryson Stott delivers the first run of the game. A two strike, two out. RBI single. And the fifth between Cincinnati, Minnesota, Toronto, and Colorado before that. Been around a while. He picks up a huge strikeout. Back to the splitter. And one and two the count. One out in the inning. Acuna takes a cold strike three. Pinpoint command by Dominguez. Rings the bell with the fastball. Braves stranded the bases loaded last inning. And a swing and a miss there. Anthony Dominguez. Big strikeout, all three of his outs via the K. Once, huh? Take him. And Harper rings one right field. That is up and gone. Bryce Harper with a home run. Right on cue, on base for the third time. His second hit. Harper fired up on his way around the bags. And the Phillies lead it two to nothing. Well, Bryce Harper. A great fastball hitter, but the sli first pitch slider, Frenchy. Yep, spinner. Mm. We saw him last postseason, six home runs. Real Muto trying to deliver a put away punch. Two and two now. Oh, that's catcher's interference. That is a catcher's interference, and a run's going to score. That'll be an error on Murphy. And it is three to nothing, Philadelphia. Real Mutich is on the catcher's interference. Bouncing ball gets by the pitcher. Arcia coming in, bare hands, and makes the wow. play. Nicely done by Orlando Arcia. But the used some of his late game weapons early as Riley off the end of the bat, base hit. Austin Riley with a single to left field, and now the Braves will bring the tying run to the plate. A walk, and what's the matchup? I can try to plumb out of the opposition. That is a great play by Turner. Flips to the bag, throw to first, a double play. Oh my goodness. Wow. Trey Turner, a spectacular play at short. What a play. I mean, you're talking the play of the game right here. That ball goes in. You're talking first and second, second and third instead. No runs. And he gets out of it. Wow. What a moment. Philly still lead 3 nothing In the fifth inning, Braves with just five hits tonight on the first pitch. Fly ball to left. This should do it. Brandon Marsh coming in. He's got it. And the Philadelphia Phillies. Take game one on the road for the second consecutive season. A 3-0 victory. Trey Turner with a brilliant play. He and Stott turn the key double play in the eighth. And the Phillies, Jeff, strike first in this best of five. Well, the story to this NLDS presentation is brought to you by Booking.com. Up in the booth with Ron Darling, I'm Bob Costas. That distinctive stretch style of Kershaw. Ball hit through the middle. Marte around third. He's going to score. And the Diamondbacks, who had to come from behind in both games in Milwaukee, jump in front here at Dodger Stadium. Yeah, they had six unanswered runs. His 14th pitch of this inning is driven to deep left. Back, way back, and off the wall. 
One run is home as Carroll sprints for the plate, and they'll have second and third with a 2 0 lead, and Kershaw is yet to retire a hitter. High fly ball to deep left field. Forget about it. It's gone. A disastrous start for Clayton Kershaw. Moreno hit only seven during the regular season. Put a major charge into that one. D-backs and every D-back who has faced Kershaw has delivered a hit and they've all been hit hard. Always tries to get that slider underneath the hands of the righty to jam them. This ball never made it there. Stayed right in the middle of the plate. And Moreno with a loud answer. And Longoria slams one toward the gap in left center field and Outman dives but can't get it. It will go to the wall. Thomas on his way to third and being waved home. It's a double for Longoria. The peg to the plate is late, and it's 6 nothing Diamondbacks. I'm out. This has to be the worst of all those outings. Ninety-four was his high pitch on July 17. A high drive to deep right field. This ball is gone, and I mean long gone. The minute it left the bat, you knew there was no way the ballpark would hold that one. Moreno lifts one down the right field line. Hayward coming in from right field into foul ground, makes a sliding catch. And the five-time Gold Glover pegs it back to the middle of the infield. The first chance for Dodger fans to applaud tonight. It's those long strides. That pop-up looked like no one was going to get close to it, but he always seems to find a way to catch it. As good as the glove man if you'll ever see during his career with the break. Win the division handily. Here's a line drive. Another base hit for the D-backs. Lourdes Goriel comes through. Another run crosses the plate, and it's eight to nothing. Sheehan fairly. A high fly ball to deep right field. Hayward goes back to the edge of the track to make the catch. It'll play to another run. And it's nine zip. Here's a drive to deep right center field and it was worth the wait for Alec Thomas. He earned that one. Fouled 11 of them off before finding one that was completely to his liking and sending it out of here. Eerily similar to the home run that Corbin Carroll hit. That's Big leg kick. Gets this ball right out in front. That long follow through by Thomas produces a long result. E5. 1 2 pitch to Pham. Down the right field line toward the foul pole. Hayward in pursuit, lunging into the stands. And does he come back with the ball? He does not. Home run. Well, the first three homers tonight for the D backs were blasted. This one sliced down the right field line over the low wall just inside the foul pole to make it 11 to nothing, and it's a four-hit night for Tommy Pham. Yeah, what an unbelievable effort. Almost comes up with this baseball just out of his reach against that low wall. Watch that reaction from Pham. He knows right away it has a shot here and is making sure it stays. Betts at second, Freeman at third. At first, make it. Somebody's going to be a third now. That ball into the corner. Betts around third, heading for the plate. Freeman right behind him. Smith sprinting for third. He's got a triple, and the Dodgers are on the scoreboard.
on a Dodger Stadium mound. Little squibber to the right side, gloved by Walker. He shovels it over to Frias, who works a very tidy bottom of the ninth. And that is that as Kike Hernandez is the last out. Division series between these two long suffering franchises, two years removed from losing more than 100 games. Good about it, and it's the pitcher. Yeah. <laughs> is hooked in the left field and Simeon's got his first base hit of this series. It's a leadoff single. The grand slam in that game. On this 3-2, he takes a change up low in the first two of reach for Texas. Here. Wow. Like half the time we get threatened by him. Swing and a miss. The change up gets Garver. Just 0-2 to the plate from Grayson Rodriguez. Back up with a fastball to sit him down. Perfect spot, perfect pitch, and that's reading. Bases loaded first inning. Can Rodriguez escape his 0-2? Fastball lifted to left field. No big deal for Austin Hayes, and the Rangers leave him loaded. Grayson Rodriguez tiptoes his way out, puts up a zero. Set here for a 2-2 pitch. Pokes a base into right field. One run is in. Here comes Henderson. Throw to the plate. Missed the tag. Aaron Hicks, instant redemption. Two to nothing, Baltimore. Strides home with a 1 2. A fastball is lifted to left center field. Hayes is sprinting back into the gap. A diving attempt from Mullins, but he can't get it. Lowe's in to score. Young trying to score from first. Relay from Mateo's not in time. Out of the nine spot in the order, Leone Tavares has tied this game with a two-run double. And you're going to see on this, this could have been unhittable, but down the hitter had a chance. And he just drops the barrel of the bat to it on a 98-mile-an-hour fastball and gets rewarded by splitting the gap. That ball's up. He cannot do that. And even though it was a, a fastball with a lot of velocity, the ball down doesn't react the same as the ball up in the zone. first inning couldn't score but bottom of the order gets it done here in the second Marcus Simeon with a Baltimore chop of his own Rodriguez whips it to first in time what a play by Mountcastle oh my goodness I mean. three consecutive changeups this one's put in plane and scores a run and it's an infield hit with that lollipop of a throw over there to first. Three to two, Texas is in front. Is 1-1. One, one. Is hit hard into center field, base hit Garcia. Seeger makes the turn, comes in to score. A four spot for Texas. Back to the high fastball, and Himes swats it through the left side. Base hit. Five runs for the Rangers in the second, and they lead it 5-2. to two. I wonder if he had an ear. That ball is hit in the air to deep left field. Hayes going back at the wall. It's gone. It's a grand slam. Mitch Garver breaks it open for the Rangers, who have nine runs over the first three innings. Well, unfortunately, the fan got the Adam ball. It was a 3-1 pitch with the bases loaded and not much room, obviously, to, to wiggle. Hey. And good guy. fastball hitting yes. Garver. The new wall couldn't stop this one. And up in the zone and... Up and away. Carver, who hit 19 home runs in 87 games. On this 1 1 for Montgomery. Mateo swats on the center field. Taveras watches it drop in. And an RBI hit for Jorge Mateo. He's two for two out of the nine spot today. The best in baseball against lefties. First and third one out. Pokes it to right. Garcia will make the grab. Here comes Mateo. Garcia's throw up the line. And it's nine to four. Sacrifice fly for Ryan Mountcastle. Put the hitter in advantage. 
Gibson, ball to third. Henderson stabs it, steps on the bag, running throw, picked by Mountcastle. Beautiful plays on both ends. Henderson starting the fifth. And hitting one to the moon. Wow, they won't even move. A majestic blast. Gunnar Henderson's first postseason home run, and it's a 10-5 game. Well, this is the difference with pitching with the lead versus pitching. Well, he earned it. That pitch was right down the middle, and rarely has Montgomery thrown a pitch right down the middle. It went from 0-2 to 3-2, and another nice feeling, even though you're down. Did Betts get 100? Yes. Grounder to a drawn in Mateo, couldn't get it out of his glove, and Young's going to come in to score. Yeah, prior to this season, there had been. <laughs> Remember when this place was going crazy? That's it, well. Deep right center field, Aaron Hicks hits it out. Three run home run. Not dead yet. about scoring this is a club that hadn't scored eight runs in the last maybe five games and even though they're trailing that's got to feel a little bit better to go on the plane to Dallas fly the other way Carter's going back into the gap he's got it over the shoulder and over Jose LeClerc fires. And the Texas Rangers take both games in Baltimore. They've got a 2-0 series lead over the top team in the AL during the regular season. The Phillies and the Braves. The Phillies lead the series 1-0 after a shutout victory in game one on Saturday night. Deals already. First ball swinging and a base hit. Alec Bohm in the left center field. Turner's going to be sent home. Harris, no throw. Turner is in. And the Phillies strike first once again. Arby. And of course, you had the two umpires. A swing and a miss. Wheeler wipes him out. I'll give you seven every five days. One and two to Albies and a swing and a miss. Ups. Braves won the game and even the series. And a swing at him as Riley chased the high fastball. Zach, we're calling it a slur. And that is a called strike three. Ozuna is rung up. Hey, Olsen the runner at first. And a swing at him as he got him. Another high fastball. Homers and extra base hits. Rosario out in front. Down he goes. What a start for Zach Wheeler. My goodness. All six of his outs. Phillies with five hits already. And that ball's hit hard into right center. Real Muto will watch it fly. JT Real Muto, a two run blast. Three to nothing, Phillies. Real Muto, second home run of this postseason. Slider and it's middle middle and a good hitter like JT Real Muto just drive. I mean, this is exactly what you're supposed to do with that pitch. Absolute bomb. Drives it right into the Braves bullpen. One out. Stott. Chance to drive in a run here. In the air, center field. Harris lines it up. He's got it. Castellanos coming home. And the throw to the plate, not in time. Sacrifice flying an RBI for Bryson Stott. The Philly. Braves got to hold the Phillies here as Harper leans down on one, pops it up, foul grounds, and Riley will make the catch. What a play by Austin Riley. That is such a tough catch. Ozzy Albies, first ball swinging. That is going to fall for a base hit. Acuna on his way to third. 
The first hit of the game for Atlanta. And now the throw gets away, and here comes Acuna. And a run is in. The Braves finally score a gift from the Phillies. And high in strikeouts. That ball's hit well. Darno, deep left. Goodbye. Two run home run. It's a one run game. will enter the fray. Hang and breaking ball. Travis Darno puts the Braves right back in it here in game two. Three and two. Here he comes. Riley in the air to left field on the run Marsh there it goes Austin Riley has given the Braves the lead in the eighth Six. And you can see Riley got him out front, but B.A., he's so big and strong, just was able to sneak, sneak it to left field to give the Braves one hand wow. off his bat. The, the right hand off the bat. Austin Riley, a two-run home run. Atlanta is in front in the bottom of the eighth. Hitters count three and one. Mentor fires. Harper takes ball four, and the tying run is on in the ninth. The go ahead. Most closers don't. He deals a 2 2. Castellanos in the air to right center field. Harris is on the run. Harris at the track. He leaps and he makes the catch. Harper might be doubled up. The throw gets away. The throw to first. It's over. never tagged he couldn't get back and it's a double up to end game two wow great job by Harris to see he stuck that hand out to the left hand of the wall and then when he threw this in I, I, he threw it by one or two different guys because look where Harper was so he threw it here went past Olsen and Riley was oh. uh, went past Ozzy, and Riley throws a bullet. That was a great play wow. by Austin Riley. First a backhand, then a little sidearm slingshot to first base, and it ends the game. What a play! What a sequence! Booking.com. They can hear the noise outdoors because the roof is open at Minute Maid Park for this crucial game two with the Astros taking what ended up being a nail-biting victory last night by a final of six to four over the Twins. We get set for the second. He's been here before. So much success with Houston. Sends one deep to left field. Going back on it is Alvarez all the way to the track. That ball is off the wall. And Minnesota will strike first, and guess who? It's Carlos Correa to put the Twins on top in Houston, their first lead of the series. I love the move. There's Farmer. Swings and launches one. Out to left field. Alvarez turns. It's gone. Kyle Farmer has made it a 3 to nothing Minnesota lead, their third home run of the series. Facing Farmer a bunch. He's so good middle end. You have to pitch him down and away. Farmer got a ball. Looked like it was up and in to me right there. And he's he is so good in there. He loves to turn the burn on those balls. This is not where you want to throw it. 
Valdez is a sinker ball pitcher. He throws this ball up and in to Kyle Farmer. He does not miss it. And with the short Crawford box, it's a fishing vest in honor of uh, okay, the, the folks out there in Minneapolis like in the great state of Minnesota. <laughs> well, it's the land of 10,000 lakes. More comfortable spot of second base tonight. And he hits one towards short. What a snare by Pena. Got him. Hang a star on that play from the gold glover. One down. Makes it look easy, too. Easy throw. Takes his time. No rush. Perfect. I guess he is kind of a little angled. A little angled, yeah. 1-1. One, one. Correa into center field. This will pad the Minnesota lead. Taylor is in. Solano will come home. And Carlos Correa hurting his old club. Two more come home. It's 5 nothing Minnesota. Now for Jeffers. Showing bunt, a squeeze play, and then Lewis gets caught. A save by Bregman, and now Lewis trying to come home. Did Bregman get the tag? He did. He got Lewis, and how about that? Remember, Royce Lewis is still nursing that hamstring injury. He 2-2 Two -two to Julian. Into right field, down for a base hit. Lewis is home. Correa on the way. Great arm from Tucker. Play at the plate. Correa is. Now he's tagged. He's out to end the inning. Kyle Tucker, a fabulous arm in right field. Correa knew it. Correa tested it. He's arguing with DJ Rayburn behind the plate, or at least getting an explanation. He seems 2-2. On the ground towards second, sliding stop by Polanco, and he just got Pena by a step. Lopez pointing out at Polanco, appreciating the defense behind him. Very difficult part of the lineup. Bregman's aboard for Alvarez, who lifts one to deep left center field. Back goes Stevenson at the wall, and it's gone. Another shot for Jordan Alvarez, his third of the series, and the Astros are finally on the board in the eighth. in Minnesota. They're going to have the Homer Hankies waving at Targer Field. Great atmosphere. Towards short. Diving stop Correa. Trying to get his counterpart Pena. He got him! Cannon. What a way to finish game two. Correa getting Pena on what was his night in Houston offensively. He finishes off the game with a sparkling defensive play to get the man who replaced him. Just a great play. Pena hits the daylight out of this ball. Correa dives. Perfect throw. And the question that, that the Astros are worried about is, did Pena get hurt on this? Because he came away kind of limping. But what a play by Carlos Correa. It ended, like you said, Adam, on his night, Huge hits for the Twins. Great defense. Yes, on TBS, presented by Booking.com. Up in the... The 2-2 pitch. Little looper in the left field, and it will drop in front of Peralta, and the bases will be loaded. With nobody out. A drive to center, Outman turns, going way back with a leap, and he makes the catch against the wall. The runners tag, at least the two lead runners do. Carroll scores, Marte to third, Pham holds first, one nothing home for Arizona, and the 2-2 pitch from Miller to Moreno. Is bounced to short, it'll play to run. Rojas' throw takes care of Moreno, but it's 2-0 Arizona. Goriel lines it to center. This will bring another run home. Here comes Pham, and it's 3-0 Diamondbacks. High fly ball. This one goes deeper to right. Carroll goes back. He's at the wall with a leap, and it's gone.
That ball seemed to have almost a second life. It ends up on the ground. Here's the 0-2. Into center field for a base hit. Outman will stop at second. The Dodgers have the tying runs on. There goes Mookie, and the pitch is a called strike three, and Freeman knew it. Many years with the Astros, won a couple of World Series, now a Marlin. He lifts one to deep left. Back goes Peralta, and he will watch it leave the yard. And the D-backs are back up by three. Just again on the side of that ball. That looks more like a breaking ball, not the cutter that Lauren was talking about. He went down and got it. I'll tell you the kind of power that Gurriel has. By way of Phoenix, <laughs> the pitch. Bouncer toward the middle. No play. Marte smothered it, but everybody's safe, and a run scores. Rojas on deck. Swing and a miss, strike three. For losing to the Dodgers. Chopper to the right side, it's a fair ball. Walker's got it, takes it himself. The Dodgers get a run, but they leave him loaded. And after Roll it a short. They get one. Do they turn two? Yes. And just like that, the inning is over. Seawald's one-two delivery is ripped to left. Oh, a difficult chance for Goriel Jr. Maybe he made it so. Might have misjudged a little bit. Was hit very hard, but right at him or so. In the air to center field, Thomas almost in his tracks, tucks it away. And the Arizona Diamondbacks, who finished 16 games behind the Dodgers during the regular season, go into Milwaukee and win them both, sweeping the wild card series. Come into Dodger Stadium and come away with a two game lead as they go back to Arizona in this best three out of five. So they get to host postseason baseball for their Rangers for the first time. And those Rangers have a two to nothing series advantage. Welcome to the former World Series MVP. Golf swung, right field, forget about it. Rangers strike first. pitch you can see where that ball ends up it's nowhere near the target and he golfs it it's a change up and the change up that he wanted was away and the change up that cuts is never good it's like a slider that gives up a lot of home runs because of the spin and when this is great fastball hitter in Garver he does and it's pulled down the line it's actually a change up and it was pulled down the line Garver delivers again Two-run double, three to nothing, Texas. Used by the pitch selection after you had a breaking ball that already slowed the hitter down, and he went with a changeup, and that changeup after a breaking ball just played well for Garver. I, I know he's a really, really good fastball hitter, but here. Garcia gets up on top of that ball, hammers it to left field. What a swing! It's gone! the plate where he could get his hands 
to get it totally extended. See how that's middle, middle? And that is the difference between getting an out, a swing and a miss, or a three-run homer. That location by a foot is the big difference for Garcia, and the Rangers do what they do. Adolis Garcia, his second home run of the postseason. Dirty, scrapper, gamer, all those baseball cliches, and he swats one into right field. He's got a base hit. Here comes the throw from Garcia, not in time, and Gunnar Henderson has Baltimore on the board. Scoring Jordan Westberg with his second hit of the game. A lot of injuries there. And then he came here to Texas for a year and a half. There's Lowe getting a hold of one. He finally finds it in a big way. We were talking about him having a hard time getting the barrel of the bat to the ball, but we that got him going a little bit. Fastball inner half, and look at his hands and the timing. And you can just tell, finally, batting practice puts on a display. In the game, they were beating him with fastballs, one over the middle part of the plate, and and the Texas Rangers are going. Championship Series. Series presented by Booking.com. The scene shifts from the evergreen heat and humidity of Houston, Texas, up to this playoff chill at Target Field in Minneapolis. This crowd is ready to explode, and we've got a series. It's tied at one game apiece as we get set for this crucial crux of a game. An error. They changed it from a hit to an error on Kirillov. And Tucker serves it into left field to put the Astros in front. Altuve will score. Alvarez holds up at third, and Kyle Tucker has his first RBI of the series after leading the American League this year. It's a bit better in the second half. Pitch to Abreu is launched to left field. That one's gone. No doubt about it. Jose Abreu with a three-run blast in the first and a four-run assault on Sonny Gray. That got out quick. And that's the breaking ball. You, you just talked about it. He is so good at hitting that strike breaking ball. He misses the misses location mid. I mean that is right down the middle. And Jose Abreu, that ball. he's going to hit the strike breaking ball. You know he's going to hit thigh high pitches really well. Right there, he got the perfect, he got the perfect pitch for him to hit. He got the perfect dose of either one of those, both of those. Right to the close of the regular season, a two-two pitch from Javier is a breaking ball that drops in for called strike three. A net. Kepler hits one deep to right field. Ranging back is Tucker at the track. Turns around. It's off the wall. Here comes Polanco getting the stop sign at third. Kepler slides in with a double. Two in scoring position for the Twins. Oh, two. And he got him with that slider tailing away. Indeed got the chase. A huge second outsect. A one, two. He could not catch up with the fastball, and Javier gets out of the jam. Works around. Get the ball to Presley. Nothing in two on Kirilov. He goes down swinging. I got to imagine, and you guys know this so well because you played it. To try to get the rookie, Walner, who waves through the breaking ball and misses. Another strikeout, his fifth. 2-2. Two -two. There's the fastball, and he could not catch up. Dropping in these breaking balls early in the count, it is messed with these left-handed hitters timing. Lewis hits one hard to left. Alvarez tracking it, trying to get there. He's got it. Just missed it, did Lewis. But instead, two more left stranded by Javier. We're through the first three.
ball to strike ratio. 61% strikes from Christian Javier so far. Alex Bregman sends one high and deep to left field. Ranging back is Walner at the track. He leaps and it's gone. Alex Bregman able to lift one just over that left field wall. He's got the homer, and Houston's got the 5 nothing lead in the fifth on Sonny Gray. Two homers allowed by Sonny Gray today. It's another sweeper. It's another homer. That's just a hanger. You know, Sonny wants that one back. Middle in, bell tie, a hitter's dream. You know, especially when you're already sitting slow. Even if you weren't sitting slow, you're probably going to react really well to that, to that pitch. Payoff delivery. Check swing. Did he go? He did not. They're loaded for Kepler. Breaking ball. Cold strike three on the curve. Another nasty breaking ball when he needed one. That one trying to make contact here on one and two with the bases jammed. Lewis swings and misses. Christian Javier gets out of another jam with a hoot. Mm -hmm. He's got that splitter. Bregman lifts this ball into center field. That'll get down for a base hit. On to second goes Maldonado. Waiting for a moment was Pena to make sure it dropped. It did. He touches home. Bregman's got a second RBI, and Houston's got a 6 0 lead. To the call itself. A 1 1. Hard hit ball into right field. A base hit. Going to get the go sign for Correa. He will come home to score the game's first run for Minnesota. An RBI from Castro. Got to do it quick. Jeffers on the ground is short. What a play by Pena. Flip to Altuve. Relay to first in time. Inning ending double play. Jeremy Pena, the gold glover. Another diving stop in this series by a shortstop. That looked like the play Trey Turner made a couple of nights ago. That was excellent from the Houston defense to help out Brown. Twins get the behind the plate in terms of trying to cut runners down. He's had better numbers than Maldonado. Zaltuve lifts that on out to left field. Walner coming on, makes a great catch. That'll retire Altuve for the second out and send Maldonado back to first. Really, really cool, symmetrical moment today. Alvarez hits one high to right field. Pretty well struck. Back to the wall and gone. This guy is on a different planet right now. Jordan Alvarez with his fourth home run of the series. His second off over and it's seven to one. My goodness. Don't pitch to him. I don't care what the situation is. It's unbelievable. Buddy, you played, I'm, I, I hesitate to make the comparison, so I won't make the comparison for the two guys directly, but you played with Barry Bonds. He's not afraid of anything. They tried to go in, they missed location up. When he hit it, I was like, that might be too high, but as soon as the right fielder turned around and nice stopped catch. running, it's a homer. He's got that leg kick, too. He's had some success, but Jordan Alvarez is making that trade look, oh boy. Abreu again, another one, and this one to the upper deck. The route is on in game three. He's making that upper deck seem like it's not that far away. This place... To get it into the upper deck, AJ, you got to smack one. He's hit two up there now, and they were they were both touched. <laughs> that was loud. Jeez. You know what he just said right there too? That that reaction says he doesn't hit that. And I've been saying it until someone knocks out the champ. They're going to be the champ, and they're going to play with confidence and dominate the game. They dominated today, 9-1 to the final score. Jordan Alvarez did it again. Four home runs in this contest by the Astros. Two from Abreu, his first career multi-home run postseason game, 9-1 to the final. Can't wait. Philadelphia, the 2023 National League Division Series presented by Booking.com. It is the Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies in a series that is all even at one game apiece.
Nola deals, Albies, and a line shot, base hit to right. Acuna going to be sent home. Castellanos throw comes in, a couple of hops, Acuna scores. Ozzy Albies, an RBI single, and Atlanta strikes first in game three. We'll lead things for the Phillies, and Castellanos way back into left field, and we are tied just like that. Yeah, this is again. You don't have 95, BA 96. If you're going in, you got it. He wants to run. Stays put, and there's a high fly ball, deep right field. Harper watches it fly. Electrifying moment here, a three-run blast to put the Phillies in front. He has done it so many times. Big game player, Bryce. And then Harper destroys one. A bomb in the right field, a three-run blast. Phillies up four to one, pitching change at Citizens Bank. Responsibility out there. Tonkin delivers. Real Muto in the air left center. Rosario's on the run. Rosario can't get there. Two runs are going to score. JT Real Muto with a double. Six to one Phillies. Postseason, as you said, four long balls included. Harper, high fly ball, center field. He's watching. Harris turns. Harris leaps. And it's gone. Harper with a rainmaker. And another stare down. Seven to one Phillies. And it's turning into the Bryce Harper game again. Brad Handed had pretty darn good success against Bryce Harper. Oh, this one was high. I, I didn't know it was so high. And of course, if looks could kill. That was really the only question. You knew it was hit hard enough, but was it too high to get out? Oh, oh. It's with Arcia. He loves to swing. And he does swing, and he lines one into center field, a base hit. Ozuna's going to be waved home. Throw comes in. It is cut off. And the Braves strike with two outs. Orlando Arcia with an RBI single. It is seven to two. A.J. Smith Schauver. Two balls and a strike. And Turner in the air, deep into left field. Towering fly ball. Pilar at the wall. It's gone! A wall scraper to left. Trey Turner. Makes it eight to two Phillies. His first home run of this postseason. For the hit bombs. <laughs> In the air, deep left center field. Castellanos has another one for Charlie. His son loving it. Multi homer games for Harper and Castellanos. The fifth of the night for the Phillies. And it's nine to two. It's got a little touch of AEW to it as well. That ball's hit well to left field. Marsh is watching this one fly. Another one is out of here. Brandon Marsh with his third hit of the game. 
the sixth home run for the fighting Phils, and it's 10-2. Ability to hit line drives like this and drive them in. And that was a great swing by Marsh. Let the ball travel knowing you're getting velocity. It was loud. It was deafening, but I don't know, Frenchie. Coming out of the pandemic, it, it's just another level. Look at this play by Turner. Wow! A slide, a spin, and a perfect throw to get Acuna. Brilliant play by Trey Turner. Tomorrow. Broken bat, Baum gloves it, cross the diamond, right there. Nice play. The Phillies win game three. Take a 2 1 series advantage in this best of five. And they have the team who posted the best record in baseball on the brink of elimination for the second consecutive season. Tim on the road to sweep the Brewers and push the Dodgers to the brink. The Arizona Diamondbacks finally come home, and a roaring crowd of 48,000 is here to greet them. In a sense, their magic number is one. One more victory in this series, and they're on to the LCS against either the Phillies or the Braves. Really is an appropriate <laughs> adjective. And here's Perdomo. Look at this. Hayward back at the fence. Can't get it. Gone. He hit only six during the regular season. And he wasn't hitting at all in this postseason. But one swing changed all that. A big swing here from Perdomo in that 3-1 count. And he got all of it. To Del Marte, if it's fair, and it is, and this ball is way gone. Well, this is what you know about Lance Lynn. He gives up homers. You know, Marte in his first at bat, a long drive to left center field that stayed in the ballpark. He is so strong and shows why right there. Dave Roberts was talking about Lance Lynn. When he came over to the Dodgers, he would be cruising on the next team. Same pitch, it looks like. Yeah, just a cutter that he never got in, just a spinner over the middle of the plate. Marte went with very, very few people go here at Chase Field. Carroll, and then boom. He hurts him right. every bit as much as Carroll could have. And here's another shot to deep left, down the line, and gone! Three solo homers in the inning. This time it's Christian Walker. Well, for the first time in this series, the Dodgers did not get hurt in the first. A good look. So, Christian Walker has the home run erased, oh. and then hits the next pitch to the moon. There's your fourth home run. I've never seen anything like this. Nor have I. After a replay review. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you how much I've never seen anything like it. Christian Walker homered earlier. That was Gabriel Moreno. There's so much going on. <laughs> Moreno rounds the bases, takes up his helmet. Wait a minute, there's Gabriel. Four home runs. Perdomo, Marte, Walker, and then Moreno, all connected.
into shallow left field. It's going to drop, and it's going to score a run. Here comes the play at the plate, and there's no play as the ball trickles through the infield. Muncy scores. It's... And Thompson's 0-2 pitch is lined to left center field. The Dodgers are going to draw closer. It's 4-2. Four consecutive singles. And chops one to the left side. It's taken by Longoria. And with one pitch, Saul Frank puts an end to the Dodgers' seventh. They cut the deficit in half and trail 4-2 as they stretch in Arizona. And the 2-2 pitch. Hit in the air to left. Gurriel is there. The Arizona Diamondbacks sweep the Dodgers and head for the LCS. than left-handers do. Polanco, back up the middle, caught by Pena, diving attempt at the tag! What a play by Jeremy Pena. Julian tried to get back to that second base bag, but you know that you know the shortstop's right behind you, but you always take that one step. See the quick step where you took the one half step? Freeze, you never freeze, you always take one quick step, and then the ball is hit. Right to him, right where Payne could catch it and dive into for Akiti is the key. He hadn't thrown it as much to righties. Lewis hits it high, hits it deep to left. What a recovery! One nothing Minnesota. double play. Lewis got down 0-2. Urquidy was a strike away from getting out of the inning. Instead, Lewis, who's become a star in the postseason, his first hits his fourth home run, and the Twins are the team to strike first in game four. See, so it's just different. It's hard first time through. Brantley hits one deep to right, turning around is Kepler, trying to play it off the wall. He won't get the chance. Michael Brantley, a professional hitter, as Dusty Baker says, comes up with a big hit to tie this game at one. So the interesting part is when it gets to the sixth, seventh, eighth inning, Whose turn is it? In the air, well struck right center. Looking back on it, and that is off the top of the fence. Is it gone? It is. Boy, that was crushed by Jose Abreu. This time he goes the opposite field. He had two pulled to left yesterday. He is on fire right now. His third in two games in Minneapolis. And he puts the Astros on top, three to one. All the talk about the lefties. He loves those pitches out away from him, those thigh and belt high pitches out over the plate. That is trouble, trouble, trouble. And he's got three of those this series and he's hit all of them in the upper deck. <laughs> One to right center in the upper deck. And this, he wants to win it, get out of here, series over. Julian lifts one the other way, well struck to left. Brantley ranging back at the wall, and Edward Julian comes up with his first playoff home run as a big leaguer. It cuts the lead to one in the sixth. Another changeup up. There's been one guy in this Twins lineup that's really figured out Urquidy. 
It's Julian. He's on base. He's on base three times. A double, a walk, and a home run. A one-run contest in a do-or-die game four for Minnesota. The Astros trying to get to the ALCS again. Urquidy's done. It's 3-2. 3-2. Swing and a miss. He recovers and gets the strikeout. Two down in the seventh. Thinking two for sure. Castro goes down swinging. Neris with the emotion as he goes one, two, three in the seventh. Four counts. Can hit it to all fields. But he goes down swinging here. One down on the slider. And 0 2 to Julian. Check swing. He went around according to Brian Knight. And that'll retire the side. Abreu gets it done. A get payoff to Polanco. It swung on and missed. He's got it. Does Maldonado behind the plate. One down. The payoff to Lewis. Swung on and missed. Two down on a curveball. Win extended to the postseason for Houston. The 3-2. Strike three, and the Astros for a seventh consecutive season are headed to the American League Championship Series. They hold on in game four, three to two. Twenty twenty three National League Division Series. It's presented by Booking.com. Featuring the Braves and the Phillies. The Phillies holding a 2-1 lead in this best of five series. We have arrived at our first. Three. And Rojas in the center field. That is going to be caught. Harris makes the play. This will be a double play at second base. Wow, what a catch by Harris. Close some ground. Double play. Harris picks it right off the ground. Wow. A double play to end the end of his team. A win away from another trip to the championship series. As Riley turns out around left field. That is going to get up and it bounces out. Austin Riley. A solo home run here in the fourth inning. Riley puts the Braves in front. It just crept over the wall. And Riley, who hit a huge home run in game two, delivers. It's a changeup that you see. He gets him out front, B.A., but Riley, again, so strong. Look at that hand almost comes off the bat again. And, I mean, this ball, 346. Oh, for the 336. Bouncing ball. Chance for two here. Turner picks it. Steps on the bag. No problem for a double play. That's a bounce back for Suarez. All he's done is when other teams have scored all postseason, they've answered right back. Castellanos deep in the left field. It is a fair ball home run. Phillies were trying to attack right here. First pitch slider that kind of spun. 108 off. Ball right down the middle. Phillies with their ninth home run in this division series. Those on the slider. Including Trey Turner's double. He's got one again. Trey Turner turns a slider around and puts the Phillies in front. His third hit of the game. Already, and he gives the Phillies the lead. Well, second time. Castellanos last inning. Turner this inning. First pitch slider that just hung. Uh, we told you this game coming into a Trey Turner 0 for 17. And now he's 3 for 3 on five. 
Castellanos, high fly ball, way back, goodbye. the bat I mean this swing was perfect right through it 100 miles per hour 90 something pitch of the game 415 feet to mm. ring the bell mm. two and two the count another one comes Acuna fly ball left center field on the run is Rojas and he makes the catch Rojas was a little shaky but he hauls it in. The inning is, is pounding right out of that baby blue jersey. You're sprinting as hard as you can, and that wall's sitting right there. And the emotion when he made that catch. And the emotion for Kimbrel. Wow. Empty it out. And we're only in the seventh. Take a breath. Stretch the series yesterday. He's 0 for 3 tonight. And that's ball four. Marcelo Zuna will draw the walk and the Braves will bring the tying run to the plate. Murphy a bouncing ball that is through for a base hit. Ozuna on his way to third. Castellanos throw and safe. Oh a risky move by Ozuna. Has Strom deals. Pollard. Little sawed off handle shot out to Turner. Out number one. He's the go ahead run at the plate. Ninth inning. Strom delivers. Rosario, a fly ball. Left field, shallow. Ozuna tagging. Won't go. Two outs. On two out. One and two the count. And did he go? He did! It's over! The Philadelphia Phillies are headed back to the National League Championship Series! Well, to check his swing, Grissom strikes out, and Strom, who had just two saves this year for the Phillies, Closes down the biggest game of his life. What a series, B.A. All the big names, all the home runs, all the... Welcome to the 2023 ALCS. It's a Texas showdown. The battle out west. It's Texas versus Texas. Astros versus Rangers. All-stars at every corner. Hall of Fame managers. Hall of Fame players. To state claim to Texas. To fly the pennant. Game one of the ALCS. Lone Star style. Welcome to downtown Houston, Texas. Once again, the October stage. And this time, it's an all-Texas championship series. Winner moves on. Snapshot of what he's going to do. So hard to strike this guy out. Hooks one to the left field corner. Carter on the move. Looping grab. Evan Carter, who's made his impact in the batter's box since he came up a month ago, makes a nice defense. Miniature uh, green monster. And if you can hook the ball in this field, you're going to get rewarded a lot. And you got to know that it is the shortest distance other 28-year-old all-star catcher bangs the ball to right center field it's down in front of Dubon who's got a good arm but his throw won't have a chance to get Carter Texas one Houston nothing on a base hit from Jonah Heim a well-rested Heim makes it one nothing guy has been in baseball for more than a half a century back-to-back -back curves nice pick by Altuve for the first out of the fourth Tom Verducci's got Dusty Baker Station to station, early stop sign given by Gary Pettis. That ball got on Carter in a hurry. And the bases are loaded for the Astros. That 
The one-two pitch. Sticks with a fastball and strikes him out. Jordan Montgomery gets out of the bases loaded jam, keeping the Rangers in front. Another one-two pitch. Is it hard? Deep right field, and Leone Tavares takes Verlander deep. That time of year where names are made, and how about Leone Tavares out of the nine spot, hitting a home run against Justin Verlander. Talked about the eight, nine batters for the Rangers. Two hits now out of that slot. Nothing up. Watch this just click. See how he dropped the barrel down, and he knew. That was a connected swing on a pitch. Usually, if you showed all the... 2-2. Two -two. Line to center field. On comes Dubon. Diving catch to finish off the top of the fifth. So for out number two in the top of the fifth. The 2-1. Fly ball, left center field. Back goes low, onto the track, at the wall. Carter with a leap, and a catch! Back to first goes Altuve. Evan Carter to the deepest part of left center field with a leaping grab. Altuve retouches second. The Rangers have made three significant defensive plays in the postseason. His foot was across the bag, but it was his other foot on it. I'm telling you, I think he's out. Based on that view, you have to at this point. He's thinking, okay, if he doesn't catch this, I score. I'm standing at second base. But he kind of read that as, oh, I think he didn't catch it, and then had to make the last-minute move back to first base. After review, the call on the field's overturned. The runner is out on appeal. Texas will retain their challenge. So a successful appeal from the Rangers, and it was down to their last strike. Leclerc's 3-2 pitch. Got him! And the Texas Rangers keep on rolling with game one in the championship series, 2 to nothing over the Astros. Well, you started by asking me in the open, this is going to be an epic series, and this is not going to be a series I think that gets away from anybody. I think we're going to see games like this we might see a six to five eight to seven game and you see what winner of game one does in a best of seven obviously much bigger percentage when it's a best of five but best of seven still has 64 percent October returns at Citizens Bank Park, simply one of the loudest venues in sports. We welcome you to the 2023 National, National League, League Championship Series. It is presented by Loam Depot. Game one. This year, Kyle Schwarber ready to lead off. First oh. ball swinging, and there it goes. An ambush by Schwarber, and it's one to nothing Phillies. Their season. Boom. That is the fifth first pitch center in Atlanta. This one, he elevates just enough. I was going to say that one he hit off Strider, if you remember, almost went through the fence <laughs> by the Braves bullpen. This one, he gets loft on it. He's a guy that they're really the best for Schwarber in the regular season. Oh. Now Harper deep in the right center, and he'll watch this one fly. Second home run of the inning. season six first pitch home runs by the Phillies in the post Arizona went out to the mound to talk to Zach 
his entire infield and the catcher looking for a reboot or a mulligan. Yeah. I think a mulligan, right? He's counting them. That's number four. Oh, he blew. And that was an 101 at bats. Yes. Drives out in the right. Got some heat on it. And this is going to be up and out of here. Castellanos. He's on a home run bench. Three to nothing, Phillies. Castellanos with his fifth home run in the last three games of this postseason. Gets a 1 0 fastball, 1 0 3 off the bat, and just drives it to right field. Fifth takes one, barreled it up. Phillies are deciding that they have a runner in scoring position when someone Harper at the plate. Do you have a base open at first? And Harper turns it around, a base hit. Turner will score. Bryce Harper pouncing on the first pitch. He makes it four to nothing. They keep challenging Harper, his first two at bats, and he's made it. Real Muto on the ground, got a chance to turn it here. Flip to the bag at second. And the throw to first wow. is in time. Nicely done. How about the pick by Walker? We're doing early in the counts. Schwarber's home run on the first pitch. And he swings to the first pitch here. Walker picks it. Coming home. Mars throw to the plate. The tag. He is out at home. Christian Walker, the gold glover, sticks with it. Up or going with two outs. Probably going to score. Real Muto in the left center. A base hit. Harper winds it up. Will be sent home. The throw comes in. And Harper is in, throw to second, Real Muto is safe. Perdomo, a high fly ball into right field. Castellanos at the wall, and she's gone. Geraldo Perdomo, a big two-run home run here in the sixth inning. And the D-backs have some life in Philadelphia. Bottom of the order strikes for Arizona. And, and right here, boy, he pulls those hands in and just turns on this. 345, it was more of a high one, 98 off. Thomas, a high fly ball in the right center. Long run Castellanos. He's calling oh. and took a peek at the last moment. That'll be plenty deep to score the run. So Alec Thomas delivers the third Diamondbacks run. A sacrifice fly and an RBI makes it. Five. On the ground, a hot one backhanded. Boom. Throw to second out. Stop throw to first. It's in time. And it's a double play. And the game is over. The Phillies win game one. Phillies go around the horn to turn two to end it. Bryce Harper drives in two, three Phillies home runs. And Ronnie, the Phillies now 5-0. In the postseason at Citizens Bank Park. They are just doing it with the long ball early in this game. Welcome to the 2023 American League Championship Series on Fox, presented by Lone Depot. It is game two in this best of seven. The ground. Wouldn't he love one here? Rangers threatening early. Little tapper back to Valdez. He juggles, he throws wide. Throwing air from Fromber Valdez, leading to the first run of the game. Back-to-back -back singles and then a throwing air from Valdez and it's one nothing Rangers before 105 but that's baseball Adolis Garcia Pucks the first one into right field base hit Seager in to score Grossman to third two to nothing just like that eight pitches into the game they've got four base runners they've got two runs it's much much emphasis Garver now yanks the line drive into left field. That'll drop in for another Texas hit, and it's three to nothing. The fourth hit out of the first ten pitches of this game. This is huge in the postseason when you can do it in the first inning.
Bounces a base hit the other way, does low. Here comes Garcia. Brantley up with it. His throw is cut off and a full spot in the first. Devontae's 2-1. Alvarez <laughs> turns on the ball. There it goes. Jordan Alvarez gets the Astros on the board with an upper deck home run. When a hitter has taken away your fastball and you've got numbers like now 9 for 12, you feel lost as a pitcher. And he's higher. The target is that area that, of course, you want that fastball to have that riding action. But he catches too much of the strike zone. And every fastball that's been in a strike zone, him to have kind of the high fastball naturally in his game. Back in play young from the far corner of the diamond. Got him. Josh Young, what a player this kid is. The rookie takes a hit away from Chaz McCormick. These guys can play defense. They're not all hit. And their defense is winning them a couple games already in the postseason. We are back after a word from your local Fox station. You guys spent time in the second half on the injured list. There's a fly ball to left field, and Jonah Heim hits it out. There's that power you're talking about. It's not just the singles. Plenty of sack in that bat as well. And the Rangers get the run right back. First postseason home run for Jonah Heim, and it's 5-1 Texas. Well, again, now that's going to cause Dusty. But it was not like it was a slow, steady build. They were really bad, really recently. Seeger into center field. Nice play of Chaz McCormick to take a hit away from Seeger. One gone in the fourth. Jacob DeGrom, and when he's healthy, a beast, the best in the business. They've got two early home runs. There's a shot. Get to left field. Alex Bregman gets it inside the pole for a home run. Second solo shot against Nate Evaldi, and it's a 5-2 game. It's the grip, and it just comes out and tumbles. You don't want the splitter too often to be thrown for a strike. And when it does and it hangs, that's the result that you get. Representing the tying run. And bouncing the ball that side. Young can't get it. Bases loaded for the Astros. One of the first defensive lapses in October for Texas. Another 2-2. Diaz swings and misses. Got him to flail after the curve for the first out. For the big swing. The 1-2 pitch. Altuve is down on strikes. And Ivaldi goes back-to-back -back K's with the bases juice. Bases loaded, 2-out. 1-0 pitch. Top of left side. Young gets another chance. This one bounces right to him, and Nathan Evaldi somehow gets out of the bases loaded, nobody out situation. Facing itself here in the postseason. Bradley slashes the ball to left center field. That's down, and it bounces its way to the track. Alvarez is going to have a shot. Here he comes. Here comes Seager's throw. It's not in time, and it's a two-out RBI double from Michael Brantley. bat in the series bases have been empty yeah handles the ball down the line his second of the game cuts it to one The amazing Jordan Alvarez with his sixth home run in six games this postseason.
Well, it almost looked like a get me over slider, and this was not a get me over homer. This ball was crushed, and this guy is a one man wrecking crew. Didn't feel well yesterday, probably didn't feel as great today, but you can't tell by his two home runs. Three one. Fly ball, center field. Tavares comes on. The call, the catch, the win in game two. A nail biter that goes Texas way, five to four, and they lead this best of seven, two games to none. Oh, what a gutsy pitch there. Three two challenged him, and you knew Altuve was going to try and launch. The outfielders were almost sitting on the fence. They were so far deep. And that fly ball went to the right part of the ballpark. I think of Towns. And it is presented by Lone Depot. The Arizona Diamondbacks out of the National League West against the Philadelphia Phillies from the NL East. Run saved. Turner hits a drive. Deep left center field. And the Phillies strike first again. Trey Turner, a solo shot. Now with 17 homers this postseason. And Ronnie, that was all location. Turner's pretty good when he holds on to the bat. <laughs> 421. Now he is. 15 for 29 this postseason, guys, and that's his third home run. Turner. 0 oh, 2. Carroll pulls it, and nice play, Harper. Race to the bag, and out at first. Nola right there for him. Brand new to the position, Bryce Harper. This postseason in last night's game. And he sends Allen to right, hit deep. Carroll turns and it's gone. A line drive home run. Kyle Schwarber is second in as many games. Two to nothing Phillies. He's coming alive. August. 3-2 pitch. Fam on the ground. Bohm snags it. Throw to second. Out. Another terrific play by Alec Bohm. Ola. Schwarber, a high drive into right center. He's watching. It's flying. Goodbye. Schwarber strikes again. And it was almost like he was sitting on that pitch. Just out over the plate. Whew, full extent. What a swing. At the sound, too. Full count, two outs. Here he comes. And a swing and a drive. Left center, it's down. To the wall it goes. Two runs will score. And Real Muto delivers again. Five to nothing, Phillies. He walked. Man apply facing Brandon Marsh. First ball uh. swinging. Fair ball inside the bag. Bounces off the sidewall. Rio Muto will score. Marsh into second. He's in there with a double. Another run is in. Six to nothing, Philadelphia. This ball shoots it right down the line. First pitch, knowing you got a lefty, maybe trying to get ahead. Yeah. Doesn't try to do too much with it. Looked like he was thinking that way yep. the entire way. Has taken a lot of pressure off of Alec Bohm as he lines one left center. That ball's well hit, and it's down. This 
Davis is going to bring in one in Schwarber. Harper right behind him, and he will score. A two RBI double for Bohm. Free and easy. Real Muto. On the ground, a hot one through, base hit. Alec Bohm will be sent home. He will score, and JT Real Muto. Three RBIs now on his second hit. Not Buttermaker would approve. Castellanos, a high drive into left center. Long run, and Guriel makes a catch. Plenty deep to score the run. Stott is in. And it's a 10 spot for the Phillies in game two. Another four. Cave rings one left center. That's well hit. Thomas cannot get there. Cave thinking about three and he's on his way. Throw comes in and out at third. There was no chance Cave was stopping. No. 3-2 again, and a called strike three, and that's the ball game. And the Philadelphia Phillies, dominant in this postseason. And they take a two games to none lead in this best of seven in LCS. Schwarber with two homers. Phillies with three home runs. And a 10-0 win in game two. I mean, it doesn't get any better than how they played these first two games. Really great starting pitching from Wheeler and Nola, and six home runs on the offensive side. Look, we had a ball game for, for yeah. through five innings. Oh. The Rangers bring a gift of a 2-0 series lead to their fans, ready to take on the Houston Astros. It is game three in this best of seven. In the 2023 American League Championship Series on FS1 presented by Lone Depot. And Scherzer does. Here comes in a one. It is in the dirt. It kicks away from Hein. Here comes Alvarez. He's in there. Astros take their first lead of this series. 1-0 Houston. Second and third. And Molinato with a smash by Young. Two more runs headed for the plate. And it's three to nothing, Houston. Throw to second is in time. Montanato is tagged at second, but he's got a two-run single. Yeah. On this one, two, it is a fastball that he hammers to left center field. It is gone. Jose Altuve finds it. His first hit of the championship series leaves the yard. Well, perfect example of what he does. He just generates power. People just are amazed at what he can do. To middle up. Trying to get it away and up. And he can get to it. That's why you get him to swing at more pitches in the left-handers batter's box than actually over the plate. It doesn't make sense that he can get to that pitch. Infield still in. 3-2 comes home. Dubon gets a fastball and bangs it into center field to make it 5 to nothing Houston. Mauricio Dubon getting just his third start of the postseason continues the production from the bottom of the Astros lineup. Really bothering him. Here's his 1-2. In the air to center field. Dubon's going back. He's on the truck. He's at the wall. Goodbye. Move with an opposite field shot. Texas on the board. On this 2 0, he goes after it. Hits it in the air to center. Tavares is back. He's at the wall. He leaps. to be this height. I love watching this play as a former pitcher. There's nothing better. Taking a run off the board. What a timed up perfect. I'm sorry. That's one of the most exciting plays in zone. On 2-2. Garcia climbs the ladder on a fastball. Sends a fly ball to left center. It will be caught. Michael Brantley. Fountain of youth. 
Smith into the gap in left center to take away a run. It's away. On 2-2, two -two, here it comes. Line drive, center field, base hit, Alvarez. Two runs coming to score. And with two strikes in the seventh, Alvarez comes through. Hammers this ball, straight away center. Dubon running out of room. Young second of the game. Single-handedly, Josh Young putting the Rangers on his back. Now got the barrel of the bat so quickly to that top of the zone. That's just classic right there. I mean, you don't want to see it as a pitcher, but. Swings away at the first pitch and grounds it through that draw in infield to bring home Tucker. Pena makes it 8-4 to four Houston, and they strike right back. Invented a lot of the modern strategies we see in baseball. Garcia serves one through the right side. Here comes Simeon. It's a two-out RBI single for Garcia. And it's eight to five. Two outs again. Tucker's walked three times. Hits this ball hard. Right center field. Garcia will turn and watch it hit off the wall. Alvarez chugging towards third. He hits it and comes home. Relay from Seager. Bounces the line. He's out. To the bottom of the ninth we go after this perfectly executed assist from Garcia to see his one-two pitch. Ground ball left side. Pena's got it to second one. On the first, there's two. And the Astros come to Arlington and take game three. Back on the road and back in the win column. The roof is all closed up. The AC is blasting. Yes, the pool is open. And the volume is up. Nearly 50,000 on hand to see this one here this afternoon. Three National League Championship Series. It's presented by Lone Depot. The Philadelphia Phillies up two games to none over the Arizona Diamondbacks. He's hitting all seven games of this year's postseason, and he's up there hacking. Oh, nice play, Bohm. And Bohm's throw is a good one. Alec Bohm has turned in some defensive gems already in the official surface. As Carroll a swing at him as Ranger Suarez White. Two and two the count with two outs. Three. And that's a called strike three. And Ranger Suarez off to a good start. Back to and the payoff. And he struck him out. Two and two to Real Muto. And a swing at a miss. He got him. Got him on the sweeper. Back. I saw you the crew chief. Three. And a cold strike three. Edging for Brandon Fogg. See what he does here. Two two. And he rips that fastball right by Castellanos. Third. 0-2 oh, the count to Rojas. And he chased one. Down he goes. Charlotte at second base with two outs. And Schwarber takes a cold strike three. Backdoored him that time. 13 consecutive innings now. That ties a postseason franchise record three. for them. And Suarez rings the bell. He's hit to win a World Series off Mariano Rivera in 01. Swing at a miss and fought. Picks up strikeout number seven. They did the life. He said he heard from a number of players how the narrative can change in the postseason quickly as Pham strikes out. Dominating by both guys. Fought. And Suarez have been excellent. And a swing and a miss. And Fought keeps the pedal down. Eight strikes. In Phoenix. Rivera yes! will half swing. He goes. Suarez strikes him out on the curve. Six came hard is Cattell Marte, who's due up next. 
three. And a called strike three. Suarez caught him guessing. Ranger Suarez turned it into a big game pitcher the last two years for the Philadelphia Phillies. Seven K. Three and two now. And a swing and a miss. Vaughn with a sinker. Big movement on that fastball. And he breaks his back. Stott makes a play. Suarez right there. And out at first. What a play. Oh my goodness. The most difficult. No balls and a strike. And he throws it back to the screen. Comes back hot. Play at the plate. No. Harper's in there. Harper scores on a wild pitch. And the Phillies lead it one to nothing in the seventh inning. And he pulls that one. It's past Bohm. Down into the corner it goes. Thomas is flying around third. The throw is cut off. And this game is tied. Lourdes Gurriel. An RBI double in the seventh inning. Bloody out seventh inning. First and third on the ground. Turner goes to second. Get the out there. Throw to first in time. The Phillies turn a double play. And a hot one. Turner gloves it. Throws to the plate. The tag. And he is. Hadn't tagged him yet. Now he gets him. He's out. Missed him the first time. Turner with an excellent play. They cut down. Kimbrell deals an 0 1. That's into center field. It's down. In the score is Smith. And the Diamondbacks walk off the Phillies in game three. Cattell Marte takes a victory lap. Cut his swing down. It's not even a strike up top. And you know what? One of their other walk-offs with Luis Gonzalez looked very similar to that. Little jam job up the middle. But Evan Longoria told me he's a dude. With the infield in. Tory the walk-off single to secure game three for the Diamondbacks and a 2-1 final. What a game. Guys, a lot of credit, too, to Perdomo for that walk after being down 1-2 to set Marte. In Arlington, Texas, after the Houston Astros took game three, it is now two games to one. Rangers in front as we get ready for game four. The 2023 American League Championship Series on FS1 presented by Lone Depot. Your inning against you. Bregman flies the ball to right center field. Tavares on the move. It's over his head and bounces to the wall. Altuve's in to score. Here comes Dubon. Bregman for third. Goes off line. It's a triple. And it's two to nothing Houston just like that. Field's pulled in. Playing good on Alvarez to pull. He spanks one into center field and continues his incredible postseason. Scoring Alex Bregman from third. And it's three to nothing. Ten pitches into the game. Or missing location. 2-2 two -two is drilled. Down the line. And it's fair. It's gone. It is. Home run. Adonis Garcia. season for Garcia the heartbeat of these Texas Rangers giving them some life he didn't flinch at the change up right there stays like a it's like a BP fastball and see how quick he was to the barrel and to the ball the fastball he was late it was behind and that for a hitter feels as good as it, it can feel actually I, here it comes Field. McCormick drifting back on it. It's going to be plenty deep enough to bring home the runner from third. 
3-2 game as Young delivers with a sacrifice fly. See, that may not go down in any scorebook as a great at-bat, but that was a great at-bat. That was essential they got the run in. The... That was an amazing game. We got a chance to catch part of that. Here's a tapper along third. Backhand Young chucks it across in time. Wow, what a play that was. That had every, every bounce to not go the Rangers' way, but Seeger. Goes after the first one, drills a high fly ball. Left center field, this game is tied! <laughs> Adjustment made and game tied, 3-3 three, three in the third. Yeah, his hands right there, very little movement with the leg, foot down, and then crushes it. Got to the barrel, see how perfectly that is? When you're underneath, that's why we saw all the fly ball pop-ups for outs. Redford. Alvarez cranks one in the air, center field. Back goes Tavares, onto the track, just enough room. That close to a grand slam, Astros settle for the lead on a sacrifice fly from Alvarez. The 2-2 pitch to Jose Abreu. Hammered the left center field, way back there, it is gone! Second deck, Jose Abreu! Well, in the Minnesota series, Joe, they were trying to pound him in, and Minnesota. Fly ball left center field. Carter on the move. He's at the track. He's at the wall. It's gone. Chaz McCormick joins the fun. Launching a two-run home run of his own. Is nine to three Houston. They're right at their average in this ballpark. And the breaking ball is a perfect recipe for home runs when you leave it middle, middle in. And the follow through says all you need to know. And the lack of noise in the stadium is all you need to know, too, because the Astros are the only ones having fun right now. It's a big home run in his first at bat. Grounds this one to the middle. Backhand out to the jump throw from center field. Picked by Abreu. Gorgeous stuff. Baseball beauty. This play right here. You talk about it. He just. All I can think of is he's an inspiration. <laughs> he really is to, to so on to punter's chance as the defending champ to at least get back. Sharply hit, pass low into right field. Third run batted in for Alvarez. And the Astros have double digits, 10 to 3. Tupper left side. Bregman's got it. And this series is tied at two games apiece. Well, I thought in the beginning this series was going to be a really, really good one. It's been a strange one. It, there's been more lopsided games here than I thought we were going to get. But the rest of this series is going to be determined by really, really good starting pitcher for the Texas Rangers up until this point. And the same can be said for the Houston Astros, who've got Verlander going tomorrow night. Championship Series, it's presented by Lone Depot. Postseason. Frias steals a 1-2, and that one is deep to left field. Real Muto sending him back to the wall. He makes a catch. Guriel, a great lead.
leaping catch up against the wall. Wire had on great D. A special play from Lourdes Curiel Jr. to end the inning. What a play. One and one. That wall line, center field, a base hit. In to score is Walker. Emmanuel Rivera delivers with a clutch hit early. It's a two up with a perfect peg to home. The 2-2, two -two, and he shoots one to right field, a base hit. Marte will score. Moreno with an RBI single. Two to nothing, Arizona. Three two pitch Schwarber a drive into right field way back there so long Kyle Schwarber his fourth home run of this NLCS and it took no time getting out of here. One fifteen. 409 off the bat did not miss. Kyle Schwarber. Don't pitch against him in any LCS. <laughs> His 19th career postseason home run. That is the most all time by a left handed hitter. He just passed Reggie Jackson. An absolute missile into the bleachers in right field. Schwarber with a salute. Split time, double A and triple A. In the air, left center field. That ball's hit well. Both outfielders on the run. And this is going to get down. A one hopper off the fence. Real Muto scores. And Brandon Marsh delivers the game's tying run. Lefty on lefty, no problem for Marsh. Open 1.63. Perdomo, a fly ball, shallow right, falling fast. Castellanos, he lays out and he makes the catch. Nick Castellanos closes on it to put it away. See if Bohm swings at the first pitch. Thompson deals, Bohm does, bouncing ball. That is a fair ball, throw to the plate, uh. and it's in and out of the glove of Moreno. Turner is going to score as well. On his way to second goes Bohm. The throw, he is out at second. A wild play. Time out, time out. Two runs are in. He's holding here in Philly. Diamondbacks only needed the force, but a low throw from Rivera. Well, you take a look at this right here, right over the bag. Great call. And he just couldn't get enough throw on the throw. Now, I'll tell you what's more impressive. Trey Turner's base running yeah. right here. Watch him. Keep an eye. He's going to come around third. He sees it. Gone. Big lead. The In a flash. The problem with the... Speedy runner at third as well. Turner in the air to left field. Coming on to make the catch. Guriel. Rojas tags. Throw to the plate. Not in time. They got to check. Is in. Did he leave too early? They should check. I think he left early. Diamondbacks. Nine pitches. Six of those breaking balls. And he deals a fastball. He missed. A bases loaded walk. The merry-go-round is on. It's a two-run game now. Walker. Full count, one out. He deals. Thomas in the air to right field. That's back. Castellanos on the run. And we are tied. Alec Thomas takes the ride of his life. He got a fastball right over the middle, running away just a little. 4-12, 104 off the bat. And I'm guessing Tori Lavolo might have just told him, hit me a home run. That was a swinging strike. That had the sound right on the barrel, deep into right center. Castellanos could only watch it. Wow. In the air, left center. That's going to get down. Coming in to score, Marte. 
The Diamondbacks have the lead. Gabby Moreno puts them in front six to five. That's where this 3-1 pitch is. Up in the zone. And he knew it right away. Put the hand up. Kid's a star. He drove in a run in the third inning. Had an RBI single. That was off Hoffman. Couple of walks. Now he's got a base hit and an RBI. That the game for Arizona. Another 2-2. And a called strike three. Seawald with the backdoor breaking ball. Marsh surprised you see that pitch again. The payoff to Cave. Swing at him as he struck him out. Paul Seawall back to back K's. Got him with the high fastball. Well, and there's a perfect. Tying run at second. Two and two. Turner, a swing and a miss. He struck him out. Seawall closes the door. And the Arizona Diamondbacks with back to back wins have evened up this best of seven series at two apiece. And it was the kids who brought him home. And it is fitting that these teams that were tied after 162 games in the regular season are tied after four games in the championship series and they play under a closed roof again. After it was open for game four last night, here is Jordan Montgomery, who fired six and a third scoreless innings in game one. He's coming inside with this 1 1 pitch. Bregman hits a five ball to left field. Back goes Carter on the track at the wall. Goodbye. Alex Bregman gets the Astros on the board. A first inning home run. Bregman had coming in he pounded him in the first game now he didn't get it all the way in but if Bregman looks at his videos which I'm sure he does he's like first fastball I'm going to get in I got to do something with it and change the mindset of how they pitched him first series pounded him in had success even though he hit spins one here grounded sharply diving play Jeremy Pena the gold lover takes a hit away and it's six up, six down for Justin Verland. Swing game, one nothing. Well, has missed a couple for, uh, fastballs in the zone. He gets to this one, sends it deep down the line, threatening the pole. It's tied. And it allowed, he's strong enough to where he basically hit a fly ball the other way that clears the fence for a home run. So that was the location. The difference of that fastball and where it was located gave low a chance. Wait, saw that pitch clock and comes home. It's a curve. It's off Seeger into center field. A third consecutive curveball that Abreu was able to get to. And in between bounce that Seeger can't corral. Astros jump back in front two to one. The base is loaded. Up the middle. Simi in a diving stop. Saves the day. Adolis Garcia grabs the ball in the air. Deep left center field. McCormick to the track. At the wall. It is gone. Is. It's supposed to be up and it's inner third inner third where he could get his hands down to that ball and he was short to it and wow, this crowd for the first time 
has felt like they have a chance to win a game at home. And with that, that these guys have been in the middle of it. This is the track you're talking about. Look, this is the biggest home run of his life. It doesn't Absolutely. matter what he does. Right. He shouldn't have to wear 100. And then his next time up, 43rd home run of the year. Regular season, postseason combined. And he gets hit by the first pitch here and gets right in Maldonado's ear. The benches are clearing in the American League Championship Series. Everybody doing their very best to keep their cool, but Garcia's losing his. Going right at Maldonado. Empty. Grilled. You go back to the regular season. He and Maldonado have exchanged words before. A couple ejections in a game in July. And it had to do with guys getting thrown at back and forth and chirping. The 0 1. High fly ball to deep left field. Back to the wall. like he's been there before because he has. Shrows. His 1-1 one -one pitch is ripped and passed out to the right center. Smith makes the turn and hangs on. Back-to-back -back singles from eight and winning run at first. 1-1 one -one pitch. Simeon rips it to short and it's caught. Kessinger, fresh into the game, makes the play. in front and then Ryan Presley sneaks his way out of the bottom of the ninth the Astros have gone from down two on the series to a head three two the 2023 National League Championship Series is presented by Lone Depot the Philadelphia Phillies and the Arizona Diamondbacks two teams coming out of the wild card series find themselves here. Balls in a strike on Bryson Stott. Two men aboard. And that ball's lined to right. That's down a base hit. Schwarber is going to be sent home. Throw to the plate from Carroll up the line. And the Phillies strike first here in game five is Bryson Stott. A clutch two out RBI single. The 0-1. Uh. Stott takes off. He's in a rundown. Harper coming home. Throw to the plate. Uh. Gets by. A collision. Moreno is down. Ball is loose. Stott ends up at third base. Moreno, who has been in concussion protocol in this postseason, took a shot. Real Muto, a sharp one. Nice play. Perdomo got a long throw in time. Heck of a play right there. Perdomo with a gem. But... Gallant has settled in. He's retired 11 straight. High drive. Way back. Right field. Schwarber does it again. An absolute bomb out of here. Kyle Schwarber. His fifth home run of this championship series. Makes it three to nothing Phillies.
only game they lost was on the road. Harper, oh! another drive. How far will it fly? Schwarber and Harper do it again. Four to nothing, Phillies. Four forty-four. Oh, I mean, it's like these guys are trying to outdo each other. Whatever you can do, I can do better. I think Schwarber's going to tell him. Eh. Mine was 17 feet eh. farther. Good try. <laughs> Wheeler back to work, facing Alec Thomas to start it and a drive into right field. Thomas will send this one out of here. He's done it again. Alec Thomas puts the Diamondbacks on the board for the first time. Corbin Carroll waiting to hit next. And Perdomo, that is. Oh, oh what a play! Stott! For the second out. A special second baseman defensively. Bryce. Not hurry the throw since he got there so quick. What a play. Wow, a tricky hop, too. Had a little top. Real Muto, high fly ball deep into left field. This is way back there. JT Real Muto, a two run blast. Six to one, Phillies, as the all star catcher delivers a big blow here in game five. From 0 2 to 2 2. Carroll, did he go? Yes, he did. A strikeout to end the ball game. The Phillies win game five. Matt Strom finishes it off. The Phillies up 3-2. Kyle Schwarber connects with his fifth home run of this series. Bryce Harper with his fifth home run of the postseason. And JT Real Muto with a two-run blast that proved to be a put-away punch. And guys, Zach Wheeler pitched like the ace that he is. He gave the Philadelphia Phillies seven strong with just one earned run. Ages, the series shifts back to Houston, Texas for game six. It is the Texas Rangers and the Houston Astros. As we welcome you to the 2023 American League Championship Series on FS1 presented by Lone Depot. These fans hoping to see their team punch another team. Alvarez, jam shot, right center, it's down. Here comes El Tuve. Alvarez and El Tuve combine to get the Astros on the board quickly. In 10 games in this postseason, and the Astros lead. It's Garber, swings at the first one that he sees, sends it the other way, and deep on the first pitch of the inning, he hits it out and ties the game. Mitch Garber with an ambush of Valdez, and it's 1-1 just like that. Wow, did they need that? And that is so not Mitch Garver, right? He'll take a lot of pitches. He'll worst Ranger. Remember, I said who's going to go to right center, center to right center? He did it, and he got rewarded with a home run. I don't know if there'll be a carryover effect, but that's a great sign and a much behind the all star catcher. Got an 0 1 pitch. Drives one the other way. Tucker's going back towards the corner at the wall. It's gone just over the glove of Tucker. Two home runs for the Rangers the other way, and they've taken the lead in game six. I'm not so sure if Tucker could have got back to the wall faster if he'd have had a chance to get at this. You see how he's floating? Oh, wow. Yes, he could have got that. He was floating back and just outside that glove. 
I'm not so sure along with us. I didn't think that ball had enough to get out. And just by so sure he thought he would have had it. But what a big moment here for Texas. I mean, that's inches. And that is time second against Phil. His 0 2. Back up with a fastball. It slashed the right center field. Garcia's over to catch it. It'll bring home Alvarez. And it's 3 2. Sacrifice fly for Mauricio Dubon, who again comes through. And that's why I didn't like going back up there because it's too easy for the hitter to get the ball. Finds himself ahead in the count on this 2 1 pitch. Pulls it sharply. Knocked down by Abreu. Recovers calmly and feeds Neris to end the inning. Always emotional. Hector Neris puts up a zero. Yeah, we stretch in an emotional series in games. To make that home run not matter like that. On 3-1, Garver rips a line drive to the left field corner. It's a fair ball. Carter's in with the insurance. Garver's got a three-hit game, and Texas has a 4-2 lead. I haven't seen him hit it yet. Back to the fastball. Popped into shallow left center field. It is caught by Brantley. He's covered a lot of ground in this series. Leclerc's 0-2. Line to short and caught by Seeger. Got it off the end of the bat. Two gone in the eighth. Tough when you're Leclerc. Another one. Got him swinging. Jose Leclerc gets out of the bases on a jam. And finds redemption one game later. Oh, oh he gets hit, and they do the hard way to make it five. The two. Stanek comes in, misses badly with his first pitch, misses badlier with his second. The base is loaded, one gone in the ninth. Stanek's one one. He is thrilled on a line. Left field and gone. Adolis Garcia makes his statement, and the Rangers have their sights set on game seven. Well, it wasn't the train tracks, but it was special. Third straight game with a home run for Adolis Garcia. The Rangers have broken it open. They lead 9-2. to yeah, Watch how this swing gets shorter and to the ball. Done it again. Gotten off the mat. The opponent... Jankowski flies on to right field. Tucker's going back. Track, wall, leap, catch! Wow, Tucker brings this one back. Almost an instant replay of the home run earlier from Heim. Went right up to the ball on plane. Look how tall and how much he brought that ball back. Wow. I mean, it's... 12th inning, it was Oral Hershiser that came in one day after he fired seven innings as a starter. To get the final out of that game. We're headed to a game seven in this all Texas championship series. And isn't it fitting that these teams that tied during the regular season at 90 and 72 still can't decide things through six games? This is how it's supposed to be. It is. We talked about it before this series started, trying to figure out what we were going to get. National League Championship Series is presented by Lone Depot. We have arrived to a game six, the Arizona Diamondbacks. Ooh. That's how game six begins. A strike out. Back to back K's for Aaron Nola. The big curve. An 0 2 or a 1 2 count. And down he goes. Nola puts a zero on the board in the first with three K's. In the bad well in the first two rounds. And Pham sends one deep in the left field, and that one's gonna fly. Tommy Pham, welcome back to the lineup. Running around those bases with some anger. One to nothing Diamondbacks and a silencer here in this second inning.
Well, Ronnie, up until this point, Aaron Nola had only given up four singles on that curveball. It just kind of spins. Doesn't have that bite. And you, like you said, that's a mad Tommy Pham up there right now. 108 off the bat, 406 feet. Most important part of that home run is how quiet. The downward movement. That oh. ball's hit well in the left field. That one is way back there. And Guriel goes deep. Back-to-back -back home runs for the Diamondbacks. The Snakes are alive here in this second inning. Guriel with his second home run of this postseason. And it's two to nothing, Arizona. Now go back to game five, guys. Guriel had himself as the D-backs go back to back. Tried to get that sinker coming in and left it out over the plate. 403. Guria, long pause by Nola. And that ball's ripped into the gap left center field. That's going to get down and to the wall. Thomas racing around the bags. He'll be sent home. And Thomas will score. Evan Longoria an ambush. It's an RBI double and it's three to nothing Diamondbacks. One away. Brandon Marsh turns it around a base hit to right. Real Muto will be waved home. Carroll's throw all the way in. Run scores. Marsh to second. Phillies are on the board. Over there at first thinking they may get a mistake from Nola. And Marte rifles one right field. That's down fair and into the corner it goes. Carroll can fly. He'll score easily. Marte's on his way to third. It's an RBI triple. Cattell Marte keeps it rolling. Four to one Diamondbacks. And problems in the Arizona portion. That's a base hit back up the middle. Cattell Marte is going to bring in Perdomo. And the Diamondbacks lead it five to one. Marte delivers again. Arbics for Philadelphia. Tommy Pham into center field and Rojas lays out. What a catch. Two two three. and a called strike three and the ball game is over and the Arizona Diamondbacks have forced a game seven. We will do it tomorrow night at Citizens Bank Park. A convincing victory. Marte with a couple of RBIs. Uh, the turns have led to this. It is game seven from downtown Houston, Texas. Welcome to the 2023 American League Championship Series on Fox presented by Lone Depot. Ship Series. On this 1-0 from Javier, Seager hits a high fly ball, deep right field, a bomb in the first. Right away, a statement. Right away, shock value. I talked about can the Rangers get on top of the fastball pitches in that location of the strike zone. He crushes it. He has been popping them up. Statement one goes to the Rangers. Corey Seager, who to hit a fastball up, and he did it in the best way you can. And his wife, Maddie, watching that thing fly out. No question about where it was headed. Into the second deck. Here's his payoff. Garcia gets up on it, drives it to left. Back it goes. Off the wall. Carter read it well. Here he comes. Two to nothing. Texas in the first. Adolis Garcia's tear continues. Here comes a 2 2. Garber lifts it to center field. McCormick a step back at first. Now comes on, and that ball's going to fall. In center field, it falls, and Garcia's headed home. The throw is not in time. It's three to nothing, Rangers. Garcia finds himself in position to take advantage of that lapse in defense thanks to his stolen base. Every run kind of surprises you. It's like, whoa, now I've got a lead. Bouncing ball and a fair ball. Pass Young that gets the Astros on the board. Altuve's in to score.
A long single from Jose Abreu, three to one. They at the plate. Ground ball to second for Simeon, should be two. Four, six, three, double play. Shows are able to limit the damage to one. Off and rolling in game seven. Well, oh my goodness. Garcia starts the third and drives one the other way. Down the line of it's fair. He's got another. He does. Adolis Garcia owning October. Playing the villain role to perfection, and it's 4-1 to one, Texas. This might be one of the best at-bats of his career. Two fastballs painted away for strikes. He took a couple, and then the same fastball away. That's a very good pitch that he just hit like a left-hander, hooking it down right away. But look at this swing right here on the pitch away. He just goes to that part of the field. I mean... That one he knew was completely gone. The other one he was hoping was gone. And oh, come on, man. 2-2. Two -two. High drive. Left center field. Carter on the move. That ball's off the top of the wall and gone. Just over the yellow line. Bregman hits it out. 4-2. to two. Fastball, the middle third is what Bregman owns. And he crushed that ball to get the Astros down two. You got the two staples at the top of this order. Altuve and Bregman, who have been there the whole time through this run of seven consecutive championships. Two, chance here in the fourth. Carter pulls one down the line. That is fair. The kid comes through. Young's in to score. So is Simeon. Two-run double for 21-year-old Evan Carter. And hit. His 2-0 is over the plate and grounded to the left side. A base hit. Seager's in. Here comes Carter. He'll score without a throw. Adolis Garcia is three for three and has knocked in four. It's eight to two, Texas. Yeah, I, I again. This is how they played throughout the year. They add on crooked numbers. On a 3-1, low, swings, and it's a high liner. Deep right field, Tucker back at the wall and gone! Low strokes a home run just out of the reach of Tucker. Double digits in game seven for Texas. Well, like I said, if they can get him going, wow, does their lineup get long. He hit a hanging breaking ball. Wasn't catching up to many heaters, but here, look at that breaking ball in the middle of the zone. That's like a BP fastball, and Tucker has been busy on that part of the wall. Just wow. through the wet. Cracked in the ground and through. The incredible Jordan Alvarez has his third hit of the game, and he's driven in Alex Bregman to make it 10 to 3. I mean, this postseason. With conviction, and then said something quite impressive. Tom, take it away. Here's the fly ball. Hold on one second. Back goes Brantley to the wall, and Adolis Garcia has hit another home run. Impossible. His fifth in the last four games. He owns Houston. John, get your MVP ballot where in the lineup. This is a fast break offense, like a basketball team that can put up runs in a hurry. And it's because of the depth of the lineup. No one's working on mechanical things right now the way some of the Houston hitters are. Free and easy. And I go back to what Chris Young, the general manager, told me about, and you referenced this, Joe, and they made it off team in 2016. Jose LeClerc. Jose Altuve greets him with a moonshot. Yeah. Altuve had the home run against LeClerc in game five.
homers against him on the first pitch here in the ninth inning of game seven. Running out of words to describe that young man and his heart. Grounded a second. Two years removed from losing 100. The Rangers have won the pennant. His career. He had managed a couple game sevens and won them both. He said, no, this is still what you do it for. This is why I came back. And ahead of schedule, the Texas Rangers have arrived in the World Series. The Dolis Garcia is going to have an MVP trophy to show for his outbursts these last couple days. Always throw it, Corey Seeger coming to life here in game seven plenty of reaction and uh, let's hear from the fans for the American League champion Texas Rangers everybody <laughs> National League Championship Series it is presented by Lone Depot one last game to determine the National League pennant the Arizona Christian Walker in a big spot in this first inning Broken bat, ground ball. Boehm to second, close play there, no play at first. So out at second, safe at first. A run comes in to score. And the Diamondbacks put one on the board in this first inning. Jason Stott followed by JT Real Muto. Brandon Fott, and the first ball is deep in the left. See you later, Alec Boehm. A solo shot to tie it. And how about the Bohm home run? We talked last night, two bloopers to right field, straight inside. Of, what does that do? Relaxes you sometimes. 105 off the bat, 401. Bohm also saw Fogg throw two sinking fastballs in on Turner. That one was a sinker as well, but it was a hot fought. Flew out to center field on the first pitch his last time up. And he sends out into left center field. That is going to get down, and to the wall it goes. Boehm racing around the bags. He'll be sent home. Throw to the plate. Not in time. Phillies lead 2 to 1. Bryson Stott with an RBI double. Two strikes. 82 hits uh, with two strikes this year. That was tied for first in all the major leagues. What a night for Boehm and now for Stott. All Brandon Fodd deals. And he struck him out. Fogg with a big K. They Carroll up the middle and a base hit. Rivera round third. He will score the tying run. And Corbin Carroll, his third hit of the game. On our Carroll dancing at second. And Moreno into right field, a base hit. Here comes Carroll. Castellanos has a cannon. The throw is cut off. Carroll scores. Moreno in a rundown, a backhanded flip, and out at first. So the inning ends, but Moreno delivers the Diamondbacks in front. Powerful right arm. Bouncing ball. Ball, nice play to his feet. Strong throw, and he's got him. Alec Baum has had a number of defensive gems in this postseason. Right field, Castellanos on the run, can't get it. It's over his head, one hop off the wall. Perdomo to third, he'll be held up there. 
It's a double for Cattell Marte. That's a National League record in the postseason for good speed on the bags. Perdomo and Marte. Here he comes in the air to right field. Should be deep enough. Perdomo tags. Castellanos the catch. And Perdomo will score. And Corbin Carroll. It's his game in game seven. His second RBI. He makes it four to two Arizona. Inkle's been the only guy that's been around for the long haul this year. No and he strikes out Bohm, who snaps his bat in frustration. 2-2 two -two to Bryson Stott. Yes. And he goes. A strikeout for Ginkle. Back-to-back K's. Four, four. Two outs in this eighth inning. And yes. did he go? He did. It is a strikeout. Ginkle strikes out the side in the eighth. Wow. Let it out, big fella. Kevin Ginkle, five okay. outs. The last three strikeouts. Yes. We go to the ninth in game seven, and the Diamondbacks have their thumb on the Phillies. 4-2 Arizona. Seawall to strike away. Here he comes. Cave, a fly ball to right field over his Carroll. He's got it. And the Arizona Diamondbacks are headed to the World Series. The Diamondbacks have won the National League pennant. And the Fall Classic will return to the desert for the first time in 22 years. The comeback Diamondbacks, the answer backs. Two. And the likely rookie of the year and these 23 year olds that the Diamondbacks are built around. Jumping on the back of a 33 year old Paul Seawald who closes the door. Curiel with a big series. How about Gabby Marino? The world on when it was 3-2. They're going to have to keep it right here. And they did. Let's send it down to Matt Weiner. Welcome to Arlington, Texas. It's what we wait all summer for. The World Series begins with these two teams that have beaten the odds to get here. The Arizona Diamondbacks and the Texas Rangers all set for game one. Runs over the last two games of the championship series. Party, the right center field. That's going to split the game. Seager read it well. He heads for the plate, and it's Evan Carter, 21 years old, starting the scoring in the World Series. Carter dancing off second. Gallon to Garcia with a 3-1 pitch. Line drive, base hit left field. Carter can fly. He heads home. It's 2 to nothing, Texas. Here it comes. Carroll swats a ball to center field. Tavares won't get there, and it gets by him. And buckle up. The speed of Carroll on his way to third. He's tied the game with a two-run triple. And that is a better way to explain it by seeing last year. His resurgence this year is important as anything for them. Digs that one out. Brands it to first. Low comes home, and he's saved from the Diamondbacks' lead. Heim says, I don't know about that. But as the try, and we'll see if the tag was put on as he slides. I don't think it, it was. And a huge run for the Diamondbacks. But what a great job at third base, anticipating and going. That's what you have to do when the infield's back. Tries again. And walks him to tie the game. Is stolen bases on the bases when they're on. Oh, here's a shot to left field by Pham. It's way back there, and Tommy Pham puts the D-backs in front. Speaking of the supplementing with the long ball, it's a leadoff shot here in the fourth for Pham, and it's 4-3 Arizona.
It has not been a great overall postseason for Pham, but he's had a couple big home runs, and this one puts him in front in game one of the World Series. But Tommy Pham does. Yeah, he saw that right middle in and knew it right away. On this 2 1 from Avaldi. Goffs one into right center field. Tavares on the move. It's over his head and off the wall. Marte's hitting streak extended. Lead extended. It's 5 to 3. Right. Streak to 17 games to open his postseason career. Here's a spinner off the end of the bat. Simeon ranging into short left field. What a play! Marcus Simeon for the second out of the seventh. Run and he ended up getting three runs out of it. Puts this one on a line to right field. Garcia's back. A leap and a catch. Rangers fans, 12 years after game six, are saying that looks a little more like it. Going back, making the play. Fessen. We're at the top of the order, Lumi. Tavares takes ball four, and there is the dreaded leadoff walk. With a fastball. One gone in the ninth. Could tie it with one swing. High drive! It's tied! So much invested in him, and you see how he gets the barrel of the bat to it, and it's a no doubter. The walk, the homer, and now Mr. Excitement up, who has good numbers against Seymour. Four out of ten. Adonis Garcia, four out of ten with a home run against Seawall. And ties game one, sending the tax innings. on that side if he chooses to go the other way. Now on this one on pitch, chops one to short. Perdomo's there, the second one on the first. It's a double play. 6-4-3 to wipe the bases clear. Board in the 10th inning. Marcus Simeon pulls one through the left side. There's a base hit. Winning run into scoring position, and they came right into his sweet spot there, Johnny. Yeah, just what I was saying, and a lucky. On this 2-0, Seager rounds one to second. Marte's got it on the first and on to the 11th. Kyle Nelson ekes out of this. Adolis Garcia sends on the other way. That sends Carroll back. He's at the wall, and the legend grows! Adolis Garcia wins game one! trouble he was completely on plane when he was swinging to hit this ball what a moment what a player Michael Young, the Rangers legend, who's now a special assistant with the team, said there's nobody having more fun than Adolis Garcia. He said he's enjoying every pitch, and this time of year, the guys that do that are the ones that thrive. Yeah, and I'm telling you.
telling you. Well, who said Rangers Diamondbacks wasn't going to be any good? How about that thriller of a game one? And now game two from Arlington, Texas. It's the Rangers trying to take command of this series while the Diamondbacks try to push it back to Phoenix. Tied at a game apiece. Coming inside, that's where the target is set for this 3-2. And Moreno hits it in the air to left center field. Tavares and Carter on the move. That ball is gone! Gabriel Moreno hits it out. And the Diamondbacks strike first in game two. Now the eighth pitch of the at-bat, the right down the middle. And when you get it inside, you get it off the barrel of the bat, but when you throw it right down the middle, it turns into a ball you're not going to use again. And the Diamondbacks glad that Moreno took advantage of that. One to nothing. And now it's Walker down the line, gets robbed by a diving stop from Josh Young. Oh, what a play. And for Christian Walker, when it rains, it pours. Young makes some terrific plays and none better than this. I mean, whoo! Walker, not the most fleet of foot, but he's not slow either. And this is a root. That's hooked into left field. Guriel with a base hit. Here comes Fan. Here comes Carter still. It's cut off. Throw back to first, not in time. Two to nothing, Diamondbacks. Guriel drives in Fam. That has got the Rangers on their heels. That's hooked to deep left field, and Mitch Garver has gotten the Rangers on the board. Garber's third home run of the postseason, and the steady vet keeps flying under the radar, but contributing in a big way for Texas. The 1 0. Longoria hits it by Young into left field. Thomas heads for the plate, and they get the insurance. 3 to 1, Arizona. Evan Longoria, the veteran, sneaks it by Young at third. And that is in a winning formula for the Rangers. Carroll shoots a base hit the other way. Longoria is headed for the plate. He'll score without a throw, and Corbin Carroll has tapped on. Diamondbacks up 4-1. to one. The heart of a lion. Grounds one through, base hit center field. Hitting streak extended and lead extended. The throw from Tavares, not in time. A two-out, two-run single from Cattell Marte. And the Diamondbacks have a commanding 6-1 lead in game two. I'm the guy. And now it's Carroll smacking a ball by Simeon into right field. Perdomo heads home. Garcia's throw. Not in time. And they keep on rolling with two out. It's a fourth consecutive two-out base runner. And in this game, five of the seven runs have come in with two out. Just outlast them, right? That's yeah. all you got to do. That's that's it until they go 60 minutes. Ground ball, base hit left field, and Emmanuel Rivera adds to this bottom of the lineup dominance in this game, driving in two. He's hung up between first and second, but doesn't care about it one bit. Seven of the nine Arizona runs have come with two out, and most of it has come from the bottom of the lineup. Three outs. 2-2. Two -two. Shot to third and caught. Rivera's got it, and game two goes to the Diamondbacks in a resounding way, 9-1 to to tie the series up. Well, every road team that comes in the World Series knows they've got to win one. One on the road. The scene shifts from Texas to Phoenix in this World Series with a tie at a game apiece. We are all set for game three from Chase Field in game two with a solo shot. Cracks his bat and a bouncer back to five. There's one. There's two. Velocity. Slider slotted to right center field. That's a base hit. 
Stopped at third as Walker runs through the stop sign. Garcia guns him down. Tony Perez Chica giving a clear stop sign to Christian Walker, who just barreled through it. And what he did, he's waving him here, right? And then he gets to there, and he's not looking. He just saw the waving, and he never looked back up. And it's too late at that point. A change of events that would be. 2 1. Lifted to left center field. Thomas on the move, not going to get there. Marcus Simeon finally comes through with a base hit to left center field. Rangers strike first in game three. On the road, 8 and 0. Oh. Corey Seeger smashes the ball down the line. Goodbye. 3 to nothing, Texas. Second of the World Series for Corey Seager, and boy, his home runs get out in a hurry. He hasn't seen a ton of pitches to hit. They're not getting back. Took a first pitch change. Two on pitch. And it's Gerardo Perdomo getting Arizona on the board in the eighth. Presenting the tying run in the eighth inning. And taking strike three. He's fooled on a slider that is right in the heart of the plate. He hit against him. On the first pitch. Smacks one to the ground. Seeger gets there. Out of his glove to second. In time at first. A double play, and Bruce Bochy can't help but crack a little smile there. Oh, the Aronis Chapman experience. Is it Rock Burke, Burke and Jake Latz? Now, obviously, none of them is a starter, none of them is Scherzer. Here's a deep drive to center field. Thomas is back at the wall. Alec Thomas has it. It is a joy to watch him roam center field at Chase Field. Walker. Chased for strike three, and two gone in the ninth. One two from LeClerc. Finishes off a one two three ninth. And what a Texas turnaround here in game three. From losing nine to one in game two to winning three to one and retaking the lead in the series. On another perfect night in downtown Phoenix. Welcome to game four of the World Series. We're at Chase Field where the Texas Rangers took a 2-1 series lead last night. Took this crown out of the game early. They're revved up again though and set for game four. Come on in. On the eighth pitch, Simeon grounds one left side. Perdomo with a backhand play. The defense in this fall classic sparkling on both sides. On a 2 2, Tavares takes a change in the dirt, kicks away. Play at the plate won't happen. Young's in to score. Rangers strike first in game four. The only way that Young scores on that play is you've got to be two on, two out. A one two pitch. Simeon pulls one down the line, hooking fair into the corner. Tavares in to score. Jankowski in as well as it kicks away. Simeon's on his way to third. He's in there. Marcus Simeon for the second game in a row comes through, and it's three to nothing, Texas. In the first third of the game. Now Seeger to right center field, way back there. And gone again. Corey Seeger does it again. His third hit of this World Series is his third home run of this World Series. Into center field, Jankowski comes through again. Kicks away from Thomas. Two runs are in. A two-run double from the guy getting his shot.
Travis Jankowski making his World Series debut in place of the injured Garcia. He's two. He's got the Rangers ahead 7 nothing, And now Simeon crushes a ball. Back to left field. Gurry out of the wall. Goodbye. It is a route in game four. Marcus Simeon came into the game with three RBIs this postseason. He's got five in three innings tonight. Replay of the second here in the third. Back-to-back -back five run innings. The Rangers are alive and it's 10 to nothing. Middle three in game four. Which is standing in a 10 nothing game. Lifted the other way. Jankowski drifts back. Going to get one of them in. Here comes Moreno. Arizona's on the board. It's 10 to 1. A sacrifice fly from Lourdes Gurriel. From here. Perdomo back of first. Simeon on a dead sprint towards the line. And nearly a collision. There was, and somehow that ball was caught. Wow, Travis Jankowski. Fly ball to deep right field. Jonah Himes' first hit of the World Series is a home run. And it's 11 to 1, Texas. Third of the postseason for Hines. And the clerk got it. Another payoff. Fan shoots it to right field, right at Jankowski. Carroll's going to come in to score, and it's 11 to 2. Sacrifice fly for Fan. This ball hard, deep left field, it is gone! Well, this place has been waiting two days to explode, and Guriel gives them a reason to here. It's a let. Ground ball. Base hit center field. Moreno drives in two against Leclerc. It's 11 to 7 as they've scored six in a row. Pitch to Christian Walker. Hot fly. Foul ground. That is. Caught by low, and that does it for game four. An explosion for the Rangers, a couple of five-run innings, and the Texas Rangers are one win away from their first world championship. It is the last game of the season at Chase Field. They hope, though, that it's not the final game that their team plays. The Texas Rangers have taken a 3-1 series lead. They are one win away from the first championship in franchise history. Pitch for the 33-year-old who faces Evan Longoria. And Longoria yanks the line drive to left field. The Carter comes on to get. Evan Carter takes a hit away from Longoria. Two gone in the second. Defense, this has been a series filled with good plays and game-changing plays because that would have been a game-changer if it gets by Carter and it gets a run in for the D-backs. So early on, you couldn't ask for a better start for the panel for this Texas lineup. Marcus Simeon leads it off. And pulls the first one, left side, diving stop for Dumbo. Heck of a play! On both ends, getting some help from Walker. Season. Another one, two. Young golfs it. Deep left center field. Gurriel to the gap. Way back. He's got it. 
Over the shoulder with calm. Calling off Thomas. Smooth operator out there. First pitch. Bouncing ball up the middle. Seeger's there. His throw is in time. And Houdini's gotten out of another. Nathan Avaldi, five innings, constant strength. 21-year-old rookie, Evan Carter, pulls one into right center field, and it's back-to-back -back hits. Cut off by Carroll. Seager to third, Carter to second. He's in with a double. The dam breaks here in the seventh season. Not an 0-1. Grounds one through. Texas takes the lead. Seager's in to score. Carter stopped at third. And after six innings without a hit, three in a row here in the seventh. Gone seventh inning. Two on pitch. Drop ball first. Walker coming home with it. And they've got Carter hung up. Moreno runs him back. Now Longoria chasing him down. It's Ginkle to get Carter. A little pickle here in the World Series in the second out of the seventh. Cracked his bat. Roller to short. Perdomo's there. Kevin Ginkle's out of the bases loaded jam. Rangers are saying this is who we are. Gotta have the offense show up. And this is gonna be the clincher. Hot shot in the center field. Three consecutive hits in the ninth. The ball gets by. It's all the way to the track. It goes all the way to the wall and two runs score. Heim to third. It's three to nothing, Texas. Well, you're gonna watch this ball. It gets up the middle and it kind of zigzags. And then right there, he took his eyes just off of it, thought he had it in the glove. Correct. Tremendous job by Carroll, not assuming. And he just missed this close to his fourth World Series ring. A one to Simeon. In the air to left center field. Gurriel's back. It is gone! Texas on the verge! Marcus Simmons found it just in time. He sure did, and he's hit two big home runs. And that's now the 13th three-run inning. Three or more. And their 63rd season. It's happened! The Texas Rangers win the World Series! And a guy that is about to join Mr. October himself as the only two-time World Series MVP position players ever. Corey Seager reacts to the last out. Swing over and over. And the surprise star of the bullpen, Josh Spores. Josh Spores on the mound for the last out. Of the and ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, your world champion, Texas Rangers. It's my distinct pleasure to present the Commissioner's Trophy to Ray Davis, Neil Liebman, and Chris Young.